Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here, and you know, weirdly enough, I thought that this being November and we're heading towards Black Friday and with the holidays coming around that we wouldn't be getting any sort of sale or anything over at the Dollar Tree. I'm wrong because apparently there's some stores that have gotten some stock in like a lot of boxes of of blu-rays and dvds for some odd reason it's not exactly a sale going on at all the stores it's just select stores that are getting these titles and i found only one in my area that actually does have the sort of sale going on they got a bunch of boxes in so i'm gonna try to see what they have here I don't know what titles they got in. I don't know what's new, what's old. I have no idea. So I'm definitely interested to find out what they have, guys. And we are at our first and only Dollar Tree location, guys. I'm very interested to see what we get here with these titles and this sale. Um, I wasn't even expecting one until sometime next year. So this is completely sort of out of the blue. But I'm definitely interested to find out. So uh, let's head in and see what we got. All right guys, we are over here in the Dollar Tree and wow, look at this man. Movies and more movies. Wow, I think this is the biggest amount of movies that we've seen yet guys. This is crazy and insane. And uh, the first stuff I'm seeing here uh, Le Graham Book Clear. Okay, some kid stuff right off the bat. Um, Spying the Wild 2. Narrated by David Tennant. Wild 2. Um, Atlantis, The Legend Continues, Seasons 2, Part 1. No, I actually have never heard of this one. Hmm, from the BBC. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Atlantis. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Dirk Gently. You know, honestly, I I actually I've I've heard of Dirk Gently, but I've never actually seen it. I heard it's actually really good, guys. I heard like Elijah Wood is really good in it. Elijah Wood is really good actually in this show, but no, I've never actually seen it. Hmm. That's interesting. Dirk Gently. Hmm. Uh, let's see what else I got. We got Sugar Mountain. With Carrie Elways, Jason Momoa. I have never seen Sugar Mountain ever. Truth Gets Lost. Deep, deep in debt to a local thug. Oh, of course, Jason Momoa plays the local thug, of course. Uh, huh. I, I love Jason Momoa, man. I love him. So for me, I almost watch anything he's in. Sugar Mountain looks kind of cool, actually. Hmm. Doesn't look bad. They have... Oh, they have Breaking Dawn Part 1. Is this a Canadian release? I think it's one, one of the Canadian releases. You know, we've seen some Canadian releases at the Dollar Tree before. It's kind of weird that they get some of the Canadian stuff. I, I don't know how they get it. Is it just like in a random warehouse or something? Hmm. Actually, I have to admit, I actually... I don't hate Breaking Dawn Part 1. It's, it's not good, but it's certainly not outright terrible either. There is some redeeming values to it. I, it's, it's, it's got its moments, but... It's, I guess I'm trying to defend it the best I can, guys. It's, uh, it, it's not working. Yeah, it's it's not that great, but I kind of enjoy parts of it, at least the cheesiness of it, I have to admit. Mm. Uh, let's see, they got... Breaking down. They got... Duck Dynasty Season 4. I've never seen any of Duck Dynasty. I was never really interested in ever checking out Duck Dynasty. It just I, I never really was interested in it, or... I don't know these sort of people who are rednecks who are rich now 
I could just watch Beverly Hillbillies. Eh? I mean, I just I don't really need to watch it. I mean, that's just me, guys. I never actually saw it, but it's kind of cool that they have season four here, especially, especially for a dollar. Whoa! They have Wolf Cop. Holy crap. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, if you guys have ever seen Wolf Cop, I do recommend it. I'm not in love with Wolf Cop, but it's a really, like, um, pretty sort of wild, ridiculous, over-the-top werewolf movie with this sort of cop who, who sort of becomes this werewolf and he's hunting down people and it's, it's, he's sort of drinking beer and, you know, killing bad guys and it's, it's kind of bizarre, but I kind of like it actually. Yeah, he's just drinking his brains out. It is a, it is a pretty cool horror comedy. It's not my favorite, but I do really like it though. Lots of it's really interesting. Hmm. And the miracles of Jesus. I say giants, woolly mammoths. Hmm. Those documentaries. Uh, I got Luna. Fantasy, reality, and the in between. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Grant and Christine are still struggling with a storm of grief following the death of their baby. An old friend, Dean. Huh. That's interesting. No, I never actually have heard, heard of this. Luna. Kind of looks interesting. I like the cover art. Huh, that looks interesting. Hmm. Uh, My Little Pony. Not for me. Beautiful Planet. See what else they got. Trash Fire, which I believe we've seen Trash Fire before at one of the other sales. Hmm. I never actually saw this one, but it actually kind of looks cool. Trash Fire. Hmm. Then, let's see, they have Blood of the Vikings, Last of the Vikings. I'm not a big fan of Viking movies, I just never have been. You know, that, that show, Vikings, I've told you guys about in previous Out and Abouts. It doesn't really do anything for for me. I'm not really big on this Viking stuff. Hmm. Uh, let's see. They got the Batman Superman movie. No, I've never heard of this one. Joker, Lex Luthor, Batman Superman. Man, come together. Hmm. No, i never heard of this one. It's not like an official DC animated movie, right? I don't think it's an official one. Huh, this looks interesting. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. Hmm. Um, the little cars. Okay. Um, American Wrestler. We did see this the last time. They, they do have more of this in. That they have... Oh, Grudge Match with De Niro and Stallone. Yeah, baby. I really like this one, dude. This one doesn't get a lot of play from people. I don't think a lot of people really... I don't think they ever either watched it or really didn't give it a chance. But it's actually a really funny sort of comedy about these two aging boxers who sort of get in the ring one last time to fight each other. I really like this one. I saw this in the movie theater with my mother, crazy enough. This is a really fun one, honestly. It's a really good one with De Niro and Stallone. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only time that they've actually worked together. If I'm not mistaken... Oh, actually, no. They worked together one other time, I think in Copland, if I'm not mistaken, too. I believe they worked in Copland as well. So they've only worked two, two times together. They got a great cast there. John Bernthal, Kim Basinger, Alan Arkin, Kevin Hart. Really great cast. Hmm. Blu-ray for a dollar. It's not bad. Um, hmm, some of my favorites. We got Blood Vikings. Oh, Digging Up the Marrow. This is actually a really good, interesting movie, guys. I really like this one a lot. It's sort of a movie that's sort of played up as a documentary about monsters or the existence of monsters. And it's actually a really cool, cool one, actually. I really like this one a lot. It's actually directed by Adam Green. And Adam Green's done a lot of, like, the hatchet stuff and everything. He's really good, man. 
I like this one a lot. Not many people talk about this, but they definitely should. Digging up the marrow. That's actually good. Uh, the best of Batman. Hmm. Every fan's favorite Batman episodes. Hmm. That's a Batman. I have Knights of the Damned, which looks really cheesy as shit. Look, look, look at that cheesy dragon. That's cheesy, dude. Guess for for a dollar, can you really complain? Um, answers to nothing. Elizabeth Mitchell, Barbara Hershey. Huh? What is this? When an 11-year-old girl goes missing in Los Angeles, the chain of events is unleashed. Hmm. No. Nah. Oh, I never actually heard of this one. It's a great cast, man. Julie Benz. Huh. Looks good. Uh, let's see what else they got. The Evil in Us. Hmm. Side effects may include insomnia, rage, and cannibalism. Great. I hope they said that in the commercial. Because, God, Lord. You know how they have those, like, ambient commercials and everything? Well, this will, this will cause you diarrhea and everything like that. It's like, well, I hope they, hope they did it in the commercial for, for the pill. With zombie like being... What is it? Six school friends meet up with a 4th of July celebration on a remote island. Totally turn into bloodthirsty cannibals. Ah, don't you hate that when you're trapped on an island with bloodthirsty cannibals? That's why I never take vacations, guys. I stay away from vacations, I'm telling you. <laughs> this, this looks kind of interesting. I've never heard of this one, man. This is interesting. That might be a pickup, the evil in us. It's interesting. Uh, William and Kate, a royal life. I'm uh, not really interested in that one. Two lovers. We've seen two lovers before with Joaquin. PBS Kids. The Wild Wedding, Glenn Close, John Malkovich, and Patrick Stewart. Nice. That is interesting. No, I never heard of this one either. Iconic movie star I Wild is getting married to the fourth time. Hmm. That's interesting. Sort of like the romantic comedy. I've never heard of this movie. And it's got some great actors in there. That's crazy. I've never heard of this one. Oh, winning. Hmm. BKO Bangkok Knockout. Hmm. The ultimate fight of their lives. Only the strongest will survive. Oh, released by Magna. Huh. If they want to live, they must fight for their lives. There looks like that's like a pretty interesting martial arts movie. Hmm. BKO Bangkok Knockout. From the director of Born to Fight. Hmm. Uh, baby animals. Mm, let's see what else I got. Uh, rejoice and shout. Gospel music history. Uh, singularity with Julian Schaffner and John Cusack. Resist, fight, unite. I think we might have seen this before at some point. God, I remember seeing this movie at some point. It looks looks like something like straight straight out of RoboCop or something. Looks really interesting. In the year 2020. Okay. Wow, I guess this is all happening next year, guys. Jeez. I do really love John Cusack, but he's done a lot of really not-so-great movies recently. Hmm. This one kind of looks a little cheesy, though. Let me know what you guys think of Singularity. All-Star Superman. Huh. And they got, they, they've got a lot of DC animated stuff here this time, man. Dolphins, Spy in the Pod. Four Lions. A whip smart slapstick comedy. At, at Jihadi Suicide Bombers in Illumis War. Really? Well, that's interesting. Hmm. It's supposed to be a slapstick comedy, though? Ah, God, that's crazy. So that's wild, man. Um, outrage, do ask, do tell. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. I like that. that. Two film collection of that. That. I've got uh, the Bear Family and Me. 
cute bear stuff here. They've also got... Oh, the campaign. That's interesting. I really didn't like this movie, guys. It's not a great movie. I was not a fan of this one. It, Will, Will, I'm not a fan of Will Ferrell anyways. He's not really the funniest guy to me. That guy with Nackis can be funny at times, but this felt like kind of... They were trying to do sort of slapstick stuff, and it didn't really work. Kind of felt kind of wasted. Their, their talent's wasted in this, though, guys. Hmm. Not bad stuff so far. I'm also seeing, guys, they have... Time for a little cardio and <laughs> cardio dance flow. Oh boy. I think I think Dollar Trees just love their workout cardio stuff, man. Oh boy. Oh Lord. Uh buried treasure. That's interesting. Um Oh, Twilight Saga New Moon. Um, this is another Canadian release. And interesting. You know, I gotta admit that New Moon, I think New Moon's the second one, right? I think, think the new God. I I've kind of blanked a lot of this series out of my mind, guys. But I remember not being the biggest fan of this second film. Like I, I actually think the second film is like probably one of the worst ones. I would say it's really bad, man. It just I just thought the acting and everything. I mean, the the first Twilight film kind of has some weird charm to it, at least a little bit. But New Moon was really garbage. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like this one at all, man. Hmm. Oh, I got Entourage to watch the movie. Interesting. Dream large, live larger. Again, I never saw any of the Entourage series. I didn't, so I didn't really sort of get into the Entourage like everybody else did. I heard if you're a fan of Entourage, then the movie's not bad. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not really interested in the show, so I probably will never actually watch the movie. Uh, Planet Earth Volume 4. Hmm, I love these Planet Earth ones. Really great. They're documentaries, man. They're really great. Re really just vibrant colors, man. They're very stunning. Yeah, I really love that stuff. Um, top Gear from A to Z. Hmm. Oh, top Gear. Planet Earth Volume 2. Moon. Dunkirk. This is not actually the actual, like, movie one here in the states this is the bbc one hmm interesting dunkirk they have they have breaking dawn part two damn oh you know okay guys i saw the breaking dawn part two in the movie theaters with bob and i swear to god bob wanted to fucking kill me <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Bob was so pissed at that I took him to to this movie. He he wanted to, he wanted to like like choke punch me or something. He he was he was like he was like really just so fucking pissed, dude. And honestly, this is a really weird movie, dude. The baby in here is so bizarre, man. It's like CGI, but it's so like weirdly CGI. It's it's so. I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's it's so bizarre looking and weird. Like it's 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 this kid's face on a on a little baby, and it just so looks so out of place, man. I did not like this movie at all, dude. I mean, I kind of like Breaking Dawn Part One, but Part Two really took a shit on. I mean, the Twilight series is mostly shit, anyways. But this looked a really giant dump on it. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that one. Oh, Planet Earth, I am two. Dinosaur Adventures, BBC. Hmm. That... Oh, they got a Blu-ray of Breaking Dawn Part 2. Well, for a dollar, but they can keep it. Oh, uh, Last Christmas. Hmm. Well, the Bond of Family. Hmm. Not that. Uh, two... Oh, Run All Night. Really nice. Liam Neeson special. Really good. I actually saw this in the movie theater with Bob, and we 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 kind of enjoyed it. You know, I can't say I like all of the Lee, Liam Neeson action stuff, honestly. Some of it is not as good as others, but I thought Run All Night was, was pretty good. But a lot of people really didn't give it a big, a big chance because I think they were kind of burnt out on Liam Neeson stuff, but it's actually pretty decent, though. Hmm. Uh, Dunkirk, they've got, let's see here, they got Synchronicity, 
which I think we've actually seen before at other places. Actually, my, Michael Ironside is actually really a great fu fucking actor. And I was at one point interested in this movie. Oh, this is another c Canadian release, too. Man, we've seen quite, quite a lot of Canadian releases here, man. For a dollar, that's actually not, not bad. It looked really cool, like science f fiction. Um, Hunt for the makers of Planet Earth. Oh, that's really cool. Hunt. A day, narrated by David Attenborough. Nice. That's really cool. Animals and sur survival and hunting and everything. Oh, that, that must be really cool. Um, Atlantis. Dirk Gently. On the Border, a bank robbery to die for with Daniel Baldwin and Casper Van Dien. Brian Brown. Hmm, On the Border. Uh, foiled bank robber Jake Barnes, the security guard. You know. Hmm, that actually looks kind of cool, actually. I've never heard of this one. It's kind of weird because there's a lot of like Casper Van Dien ones. It just they come straight to DVD, and so a lot of them I don't even know about. And Daniel Baldwin too. He he's he's done a lot of straight to DVD work as well. On the border. That's interesting. If you guys know anything about about this one, definitely let me know. Hmm. Um. It's about you, John Mellencamp. Oh, in interesting. I do kind of like John Mellencamp, but some of his songs are, are are really cool. Must be like some sort of documentary on his life or something. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Planet Earth. Digging up the marrow. Atlantis. Oh, Transcendence. You know, I saw Transcendence in the movie theater with Bob, and we we didn't. We honestly didn't hate the movie. To to be honest with you, it's a really good, interesting idea. It's an interesting idea for a movie with sort of the artificial intelligence stuff and sort of transferring your consciousness into into a sort of a computer. There's interesting ideas, but I thought the movie was boring as hell, man. And Johnny Depp is really boring here, dude. I mean, such great actors, but it's a lot of wasted potential. It really is, dude. It could have been so much better. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of this one, man. It had a lot of potential, but it really failed. It's a real, real, real shame. Uh, oh. Enron, the smartest guys in, in the room. I heard about this documentary, man. I heard about this one. This is, from all accounts, everybody told me this is a really fascinating documentary. I, I definitely got to check this out at some point. Hmm. Interesting. And, uh, Enron. I do love a really good do documentary. Huh, yeah. That they have... Film by the American Dream. Not for power, not for glory, but for the love of a dream. Hmm. Interesting. Better than any military film I have ever seen. About to ship out to Van Dien. Oh, interesting. Huh. American Dream. And that... J.R.R. Tolkien's The Origin of the Rings. Nice. And unauthorized tribute. Huh. Discover the incredible story behind the magic of J.R.R. Tolkien. This exciting documentary features. Oh, really? Interesting. I love Lord of the Rings, man. Lord of the Rings, like, like those Peter Jackson ones, are amazing. And I've never actually read the books of the Lord of the Rings from J.R.R. Tolkien, but I've always been fascinated by the world. And those live-action movies are amazing. And I really do love the animated Hobbit. This is actually kind of cool, actually. I've never actually heard, heard, heard of this one. Hmm. Rings. Um, two women with Ray Fiennes. Hmm. When it comes to love, no, I never heard of that one. Two women, women. Uh, born to royalty. Think I'll pass. Intruders from the writer and executive producer of the X Files. <laughs> What goes around comes around. 
damn right. I like the cover. What is it about? Um, John Mira Servino. Yeah, I love seeing Mira Servino do m more stuff, man. I really do. Oh, it's a novel. Interesting. Huh. No, I haven't heard of this one, but I do love Mir Sor Sorvino, man. It's really great seeing her do more work, man. It really honestly is. Um, Finding Phil. God, I hope he survives. Kind of like a take on Finding Nemo, but Finding Phil? Huh? Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. Then we have... Oh, we have little Russell Crowe with the water diviner. You know, somebody told me... I think I saw this at another Dollar Tree sale. And somebody told me that this was really good and it was worth actually picking up. I like Russell Crowe, but God, I gotta admit, guys, I'm, I'm like... I'm sort of 50-50 on him. Some of the stuff he, I really like him in and others I felt like... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of, but... Hmm. Somebody told me it was definitely worth picking up, though. I gotta maybe give this a chance, especially, especially on Blu-ray. I mean, for a dollar, it's a good price. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Kill Command on Blu-ray. I think we might have seen this at another sale before, too. But not on Blu-ray, I don't think. Can't fight the future. Oh, this is another Canadian release. Man. Getting a lot of stock from Canada. Huh, Kill Command. Um, the Wonderful World of Puppies and Kittens. Oh, look at that. That is really cute. Turns the cute factor up to 11. God, one day I'm definitely going to own a a dog. I really am. My, my girlfriend kind of wants to own a cat, but she's actually extremely allergic to, to cats. So, I don't think we're ever going to be getting one in the future, but a dog. In the future, I'm telling you. Um, oh, The King's Speech. This is a really great one. This is a really great, fantastic movie. I'm surprised the Dollar Tree got this, man. That is a really great one, dude. That's yeah, a really fantastic movie, man. Really awesome. Great. Colin, Colin Firth is awesome here. Jeffrey Rush is magnificent, as always. He's always really great. That's a great, great movie, man. Um, ten Rules for Sleeping Around. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at this. Look at this cover. That's interesting. Ten Rules for Sleeping Around. Huh. Now it's our turn. Hmm. What is this? Rule number 10, never ever say I love you. Uh, by following 10 simple rules, hot 20-somethings, Vince and Cameron, spice up the relationship by sleeping around. But when their straight-laced friends get engaged, their relationships... Oh, really? <laughs> kind of, this guy's kind of interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I like the cover, dude. I don't know if this this is not a good movie or not, but... It kind of has me a little bit interested. Do you guys know anything about this? Definitely let me know. Huh. Kind of kind of looks interesting to me. Um, then they have Resultats. I swear we might have seen this before at another sale. Guy Pierce, Colby Smolders, Giovanni Rabisi, Anthony Michael Hall, Brooklyn Dacker. Man, that's a great... And another Canadian, man. Damn. More can more Canadian stuff. Huh. I believe it might, might it might be Canadian. Or like French? Hmm. I can't read a single thing that's off of there, so I'm I don't even know, but it's a great castle. Hmm. Huh. Oh my god, they have the DVD of All Hallows Eve. Holy shit. Guys, I am so shocked to see this here. I am genuinely so incredibly shocked to see this here. Now, if you guys have seen the movie Terrifier with Art the Clown, this is where it 
originated right here with All Hall Hallows Eve. This is a actual a horror anthology which has sort of Art the Clown in it through most of the most of the stories. It's played by a different actor, but it's a really creepy horror anthology and I got to say my my friend John and I both agree the ending to this is really messed up, man. This is really and honestly a really pretty cool horror anthology. It's not the best horror anthology, but it's a really great one that introduced Art the Clown. And I'm so glad that Art the Clown has gotten more love. Oh, dude, this is really cool that they have this here. I was not expecting All Hallows Eve of all movies to be at the Dollar Tree. That's craziness. Oh, interesting. Blu-ray 3D for Rise of the Empire. Huh. Hmm, that's interesting. I actually... See, I'm not a huge fan of 300, and I never watched Rise of an Empire because of it, but some people actually told me Rise of an Empire was really good, but I've heard other people say not so much, so I've kind of stayed away, but definitely let me know, guys. But that's really cool that they have a 3D D release here, man. Hmm. That... Last Christmas... Death in Love with Josh Lucas, Lucas Haas, and Adam Brody. Sin, Suffer, Repeat. That's a really interesting DVD cover. Really. Hat turning, visionary achievement. Hmm. A family's dangerous legacy unravels as a mother's desperate wartime. This is in 1990s New York. Huh. A very like sexy style thriller, huh? Oh, I never heard of this one before. Death and Love. That sounds really interesting to me. Hmm. A dangerous place. I've never heard of this this one either. It looks like she's like in major major d danger. Fear has never been so contagious. No, I never heard of this one either. A dangerous place. I like the cover, though. Paranoia will overwhelm a pharmaceutical executive when she discovers her company is intentionally poisoning the public to profit from the antidote. Oh, so... So... So she's actually got, got a run because she knows the truth and everything. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that, that looks interesting, man. Huh, I've never heard of this one before. It actually sounds really cool. Huh. Not that... DC Superhero Girls. Oh, interesting. More, some more Superman. We're seeing a lot of DC animated Superman. Tom and Jerry. Always great. Love Tom and Jerry. Batman Unlimited Monster Mayhem. Original movie. What the fuck is he writing? I don't know if... I don't know if i ever seen Batman ride a... Like, a bat... Robot dinosaur looking thing? I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's a fright to the finish for Batman. Huh. I've never seen a lot of a lot, a lot of DC animated stuff, I'm telling you. Tom and Jerry. Ooh, bullet to the head. I'm surprised to see this because this is actually a really underrated movie, guys. This really is. I saw this in the movie theater with Bob, and I really love the trailers. I wanted to go see this, and I really love this one a lot. It's not m one people really talk about. Like, Stallone is really good here, and Jason Momoa plays the bad guy, and he is badass in this, dude. This is a really great sort of, sort of gritty movie where he has to team up with this cop, um... Uh, I believe the cop is the guy from, like, the, um, the, uh, the Fast and the Furious fran franchise, the Asian guy there. And they have to team, team up together to stop J Jason Momoa. It's a really great movie. I really had a, a lot of fun watching this film, but not many people really talk about it. It's kind of crazy. Um, they have The Devil Incarnate. God, I don't think I ever saw The Devil Incarnate. The last push for evil is here. 
I don't remember if I've ever actually seen the devil incarnate or not. A new breed of terror is born. They, there's been so many m movies made about sort of like evil being born and just all kinds of like sort of the devil incarnate type of movies. But uh, oh, this looks interesting to me. Hmm. Devil incarnate. All, all, always up for some sort of like evil baby style of movies. Hmm. Uh, let's see. New Moon. Oh, Million Dollar Baby. That's interesting. This is a really great one, guys. Uh, Clean East Wood, Hillary Swank, Morgan Freeman. I, I really like this one qu qu quite a bit. Again, I'm really shocked that the Dollar Tree got some of this stuff, man. The best one of the year, Marvel. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like that one a lot. Hmm. Uh, I got Batman Shadows of Gotham. I don't think I ever actually heard of this one either. Uh, all new adventures against vicious villains. Hmm. Batman Shadows of Gotham. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mayhem. Nice. I never actually got a chance to see Mayhem, but a lot of people told me it's actually really good. That Samara Weaving is really good in it, and Steven Yoon from uh, from The Walking Dead. That he's actually really good in it as well. It's sort of the, this balls to the wall. They're sort of trapped in a in a in a in a building trying to get out and a cross between Office Space and The Purge. <laughs> Quite the movie. Yeah, I definitely got to give this one a look. Uh, for the for, for the love of Benji. Oh man. It's actually been a really long time since I've actually ever seen a a movie with the character of Benji in it. It's been quite a while, guys. <laughs> uh, kind of interesting. The love of Benji. Okay. Uh, condemned. Death is the only escape. A, a gortastic and terrifying good time. Oh, huh, that looks interesting. Huh, I like she's, she's sort of trapped underground or something. Um, the fight for survival begins. Fed up with her parents bickering, poor little rich girl Maya moves in with her boyfriend who is squatting in an old condemned building. Huh. That is interesting. Oh, I never heard her to this one either. It looks good. Condemned. That is the only escape. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, uh retro favorite Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. I've only watched a little bit of stuff about Sherlock Holmes. I haven't watched a lot of stuff. I definitely need to get in, into more Sherlock Holmes in the future. But, you know, I, I like the Downey stuff. But not much else. I gotta. I haven't watched much, though. Um, what will the future be like? Nova Science Now. Hmm, PBS, PBS documentary. That's interesting. Uh, Entourage the movie... La French, the connection. Huh. No, no, I never heard her heard of this this one either. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. Now that they have American pastime with Gary Cole. This must be an old movie. I've never seen this one before. American pastime. It's gotta be an old one. Look how how young sort of Gary Cole is in this. It's gotta be an older movie. How love, country, and ba baseball kept alive the American dream. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. No, I never heard of this one before. Definitely let me know what you guys think of American Pastime. No, I never heard of that one either. Way of the Wicked. Evil never dies. With Christian Slater as a priest. <sighs> Christian Slater is anything but Christian. Especially some of the roles he's taken. Uh, an unholy secret and inhuman evil. Um, after a series of inexplicable murderous sweeps of small estate community. Father Henry. Oh, secrets of his own. Fighting evil. Ooh, hmm. Who who will win? Pretty much the priest will will win. But uh, 
Christian Slater is a priest. I don't know how believable that one is, but interesting. Oh, and looks like Rhythmica Dance Cardio Party. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. We had, we had Cardio Dance Rhythmica, baby. Yeah. God, God they, they love their stuff, man. Well, interesting. The Reagan presidency. The Cold War ends. The war on terror begins as seen on public television. Hmm. Interesting for all you Ronald Reagan lovers. Um, oh, we have a only at Walmart exclusive here for the movie Dirt, which is a patch. Very in interesting. You can get your only at Walmart exclusives over at the Dollar Tree. Yes, in in indeedy. Uh, interesting. I think we've seen this movie before doing one of the out and abouts, I, I believe, at some point. Kevin Dillon. You know what, man? I like Kevin Dillon in the Blob remake, but I can't say I've liked him in anything else, man. A lot of movies I just don't care for him in. Mean, hmm. Yeah. Uh, cool about that Walmart exclusive, though, but very weird to see here the the Dollar Tree. Um, Super Collider. It takes only seven seconds to destroy the world. Well, it looks like 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 some something that Roland Emmerich would do. He's millions dead, one hope. When the largest particle collider ever built suffers a catastrophe. Kind of looks like a cheesy movie, though. It has a great idea, but uh, it kind of probably looks like a real cheese fest. Uh, then they got... Oh, they got Inherent Vice. Wow, they got the Blu-ray of Inherent Vice. That's interesting. I saw this movie at home. Um, it's actually not bad. It's like this interesting detective story with Joaquin Phoenix sort of tra trying to track down this girl. It's not bad. It's a little long, kind of slow in parts, but, but actually not bad, man. And Joaquin Phoenix is great in this. Wow. I'm just kind of surprised they got the Blu-ray of that. Holy shit. Um, Werewolf Rising. When the moon is full, the hunt begins. Look at that cover, dude. He's sort of dragging this chick. Probably to her death. Well, that's an interesting design. A throat-rippingly ferocious fright ride. A new species of terror. It's been a while since I've seen a really great werewolf movie. It's, it's been quite a while, man. I mean, Wolf Cop's good and all, but like one that's really ter ter terrifying and brutal. Hmm. Wonder if Werewolf Rising is that. Maybe. Um, the client list. With Jennifer Love Hewitt and Sybil Shepard. I think I may have seen this at stores at some point. The client list. Jennifer Love Hewitt. I haven't seen Sybil Shepard in anything in a long ass time. Jennifer Love Hewitt, man. Boy, I remember her back, back in the day, dude. I still, I still know what you did. And, um, oh my gosh, she's, she's just a great actress, dude. Well, back in the day, day she was. She, she, she did that CBS show. Was it, was it, um, Ghost Whisperer or something? She, she did that. I never saw that, but my mother liked it. Hmm. Um. Octonauts for all the, the kitties. Um. Addicted to sweat. Hard candy fitness, addicted to sweat. All right, well, more, more, more aerobics here. Here at the Dollar Tree, uh, death and love, the Snowtown murders, based on the shocking true story of a serial killer. Genuinely disturbing. No, I never heard of this. This one, um, based on the horrifying true story of one of the world's most notorious serial killers, Snowtown murders. No, I never heard heard of this one before. This is interesting. Hmm. Interesting movie about a real life serial killer stuff. I like the cover though. The cover's really cool. I never heard about it. I definitely gotta check that out at some point. Hmm. Uh they also have oh well, they have another sort of special edition here of uh Breaking Dawn Part One, the extended version. God, do we really need an extended ver version? Shit. Forever is the only beginning. Ugh. God. 
god, they have really st st stacked up on the Twilight Saga, guys. Holy shit. Man. Shark divers. Hmm. A four-part program. Probably you shark lovers out there. Batman Dark Justice. Or Batman Dark Justice there. Tom and Jerry. Condemned. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Interesting. I never actually saw this one. The trailers didn't really do much for me, to be honest with you guys. So I kind of stayed away from it. I'm not the biggest fan of Adam Devine. He's okay, but he's not really all that funny. Zach Efron is okay. The cast is okay. I just the trailers didn't do anything for for me, to be honest with you. Hmm. Oh, man, more fucking Twilight. God. Oh, Beginners. The Blu-ray D D DVD. I I ended up watching Beginners. It's a really great movie, man. About Christopher Plummer, who who is in his older age, has realized that he's gay, and his son, played by Ewan McGregor, has to deal with, of course, his father dying and the complications of that. And it's a really great, heartwarming movie, dude. Really, honestly, is. And Ewan, Ewan McGregor's fantastic, dude. He's awesome in this. I really like this movie quite a bit. Applause for Miss E. Mm, Gina Torres. The sensational stage play. No, I never actually heard of this. Hmm. I've never, I mean, I've heard of stage plays actually going on DVD, but those are the real popular ones. I know, I've never actually heard of this one before. Hmm. If you guys know anything about Applause for Miss E, definitely let me know. Oh my god, they have the Devil's Rock. Wow. Guys, I love this fucking m movie, dude. This is a great horror film. Uh, it, this movie is, is really awesome. It takes place in World War II just before D-Day. And a soldier is trying to stop um, the, the Nazis in doing something before D-Day starts. And he gets caught up in this sort of Nazi occult stuff. They're trying to they're trying to sort of raise this demon from hell, and and you know the demon is sort of manipulating everybody. It's such a great movie, dude. I think I think the demon effects look really fantastic here. I I love the blood and gore. It's really cool. I really like this one a lot, man. This is really great, dude. I'm surprised they have this, dude. Just like All Hallows Eve, the fact they have the Devil's Rock. That's insanity, dude. This is awesome though for a dollar. That's a that would be a great p pickup. Um, you also have Robert Anglin, The Last Showing. Huh? No, I've never seen this one. He's got Final Cut. Oh, great, dude! I've never seen this one. I'm a huge fan of Anglin, man. Huge fan of his. I've never seen this one though. This is fantastic, dude. I'm a deranged projectionist. Oh, great. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, I might have to pick this one up. Robert Anglin, dude, that's awesome. And they also have the 12 dogs of Christmas. Oh, look at all those dogs. Very cute. Nice. The 12 dogs of Christmas my true love gave to me. Well, that's interesting. Um, they've got the last Kung Fu monk. His fight arrives in New York. Interesting. Uh, starring and directed by Li Peng Zhang, a real Shaolin monk. Interesting. Huh. Really interesting sort of like Kung Fu movies. I, I'm not big on Kung Fu movies. There's some I really like and others not so much. Huh. This one looks kind of cool. The last Kung Fu monk. Hmm. Hopefully it's cool. Um, they've got the greatest song. Oh, sort of music and gospel and faith and yeah, oh yeah. We've seen these type of movies before. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the Big Driver with Maria Bello and Joan Jett. Really. The movie Stephen King fans and suspense lovers have been waiting for. From a story by Stephen King. From the best-selling author Stephen King comes Big Driver. Lonely New England Road. 
No, dude, I've never heard of this one either. Usually, you know, I, I know a lot about the Stephen King stuff, but I've never actually heard, heard of this one ever. That's really weird. It's got Joan Jett. That's crazy, dude. Joan Jett, of all people, is in a Stephen King movie. No, I've never heard of this one before. If you guys have heard of that, definitely let me know. Oh, dude, a Harold and Kumar Christmas. Oh, man. I recently showed this off in my, um, in my out and about video that I did recently and I love this movie dude I I love Harold and Kumar they're such a great team man sort of really sort of hilarious and and outrageous and all over the place and ridiculous and just it's got a really great sort of sense of humor I consider them sort of the this generation's Cheech and Chong I really honestly do they're really fun man I really love them a lot um they have uh Oh, the Spy Kids. Interesting. I think this is one of the um, more, more sort of newer Spy Kids movies. However, I've never really seen, honestly, any of the Spy Kids movies. I've seen, a, I've seen bits and pieces of them, but I heard this one didn't do so well at the box office. I mean, they do have the, the 3D in here as well. But, hmm. James Bond for kids. Huh. I've heard the Spy Kids are, are a good franchise, like the earlier films, but not, but, but not this one. I've, I've heard mixed about this. Batman Gotham Knight. More, more, more DC Universe. I've seen a ton of that. Ten Rules for Sleeping Around. Dangerous Place. Twelve Dogs of Christmas. Sugar Mountain. Resultants. La Dame. Hmm, irresistible. That was really cool. She's like looking looking like hot with like a like a gun. Hmm. Probably sort of like this revenge th thriller or something it must be. Looks interesting. Hmm. Uh Assassin's Code. Kill for money, die for honor. Yeah, sort of one of those sort of like, you know, alpha revenge and justice and fast action and furious martial arts. Get it? Fast and furious? Yeah. Interesting. Trying to name drop a certain franchise? Yeah, it's okay. Um, a happy event. Expect the unexpected when you're expecting. Probably one of those sort of pregnancy comedies. The film Knocked Up strive to be. That's interesting because I kind of like not, not Knocked Up. Knocked Up's not great, but I do think it has its hilarious moments. So they're saying that this is better than Knocked Up? Okay. That's a tall or order. Hmm. Uh, hilariously uncensored disaster, the movie unrated. What the fuck is this? Stopping's obstructions from here to Uranus. <laughs> what the hell is this? This is like a weird sort of raunchy and ridiculous sort of sort of take on disaster movies. Ah, what? Dude, I have no idea about this one. This is so weird, guys. Whoa. Yeah, this is all kinds of weirdness. I don't know what to make of this film. Yo. Okay. Canadian cop synchronicity. Panic button at thirty thousand feet. Oh my God! Get us the hell out of here! Take viewers to a nightmare back. Oh boy. Yeah, terrorism at its at, at its great. Oh my god. Uh, good 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 lord. There's a lot of really interesting movies like this that sort of have sort of tear on a plane. Some are good and some are bad. I don't know what the thing about this one. The cover's okay, but it kinda looks a little, little cheesy for my taste, guys. We also got over here Rap Sheet, Hip Hop and the Cops. 
Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Now that's that's there's like a whole history with like cops and and, and rap artists and. I am a fan of rap, a little bit of it. I I do listen to a little bit of Snoop Dogg and and I do listen to a little bit of Bust Rhymes and a few other people like Eminem and whatnot. I actually I, I honestly do. Some of the music is actually really good. I do like that stuff. Interesting. Um, they also have Evil Feed. If you tap out, your take out. <laughs> Look at that! It's a oh my god, that is a great, oh my god, it's a great quote. Holy shit! If you tap out your takeout, oh man, oh that's awesome. Jesus, an instant classic, very gory, thrilling. Welcome to the long pick. Trying to tell us exclusive underground ventures of eaters. Really, really. This is so weird, man. Yo. I don't know what to make of this, but it looks really cool. Never heard of Evil Feed. I might have to at least check it out, dude. I might. God, that's so interesting. Your takeout. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so cheesy, man. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Um, oh, Wet Hot American Summer. Great movie, dude. Really great. Goddamn classic, man. Awesome. I never saw the Netflix one. Um, I think it's supposed to be a prequel or something. I never saw it. But I, I have to at some point because I love what Hot American Summer do. So fantastic, man. Ah, that's great. Oh, they even have Veronica Mars movie as well on Blu-ray. Oh, that's really cool. I've told you guys before I'm not a Veronica Mars fan. I haven't really watched much of it, but... I know a lot of people are hugely loving Veronica Mars. So this is definitely one, if you guys are, haven't picked it up yet, for a dollar. That's not bad. Oh, Catching Fire. I saw this in the movie theater with Bob. And I got, got to admit, I do really love this movie, guys. I think it's a great sequel to the first Hunger Games movie. More action, more character. Um, I really just love sort of the drama between Katniss and, and sort of all of the sort of contestants and everything i really just love this movie quite a bit man it really is great yeah i really li like this one a lot and it comes with with the slip too awesome nice from this day forward will love triumph over suspicion hmm patrice and corinne are two sexy confident women i don't know when it comes to love for they die the man can't eat. hmm interesting Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, cool. Horton here. Here's a who. Nice. Very cool. Love, love some Dr. Seuss. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Megan's. Hmm. Okay. Chima. Let me see. Lost River. I've heard of this movie, but I never saw Lost River. This is directed by Ryan Gosling, and it's supposed to... You know, I've heard a lot of people say that it's really bad, and a lot of people have said it's really good. It's got a great cast, dude. Christina Hengeris, Cersei Ronan, Matt Smith, Eva Mendes, Ben Mendelsohn. Some people say it's really boring, but I'm kind of fascinated to check it out. And for a dollar, I might do that, dude. Lost River. Huh. That looks really cool, man. I've heard mixed opinions on Lost River, but I like Ryan Gosling, so I might have to give that, that a chance. Uh, yeah, more Batman. 300, Rise of the Empire, DVD. Wild Grass. Huh. Never heard of this one. A charming tale, delightful. Margaret didn't expect her first piece only she left. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I got... Dinosaurs Extreme Survivors. Discovery Documentary. Quid Pro Quo with Nick Stahl and Vera Farmiga. Strange New American New... Interesting, I've never heard of this one either. And this is, must be an older movie, because that's a young Nick Stahl, man. That's a young Nick Stahl, dude.
Hmm. No, I never heard of this one either. That looks interesting. Quid pro quo. Huh. Also got... The 8 movie collection, The Many Faces of Sherlock Holmes. Got John Neville, Christopher Lee, Basil Rathbone, Arthur Wantner, and Reginald Owen. Oh, it's a sort of different movies with them as Sherlock Holmes. I never knew, swear to God, I never knew Christopher Lee played Sh Sherlock Holmes. Never knew it, swear to God. That is interesting. You learn something new every day. God damn, dude. That's, that's pretty cool, dude. Hmm. The Wild Wedding. They've got... They've got the Blu-ray of Entourage, the movie, with a different... With a different co cover, not bad. They've got Nina with Zoe Saldana and, and David Oello. Singer, activist, survivor, legend. Masterful, meaningful, moving. He... No, I never heard, heard of this one. Huh. That's interesting. It's like a good, good movie. I love Zoe Saldana. Nina. Hmm. Entourage the movie, La Dame. Oh, time to get into cardio for all you moms out there. Come on now, get up. <laughs> Buff moms, very nice. Get ready, new moms. Let's take that belly fat off ya. <laughs> okay, more cardio. Um, rupture with Naomi, oh, with Numi Rapace, Peter Stormare. Michael Checklist from the producer of American Sniper. I really do like Numi Rapace, but she hasn't done a lot of stuff, man, unfortunately. I really liked her as Lizbeth, and she's done a lot of other stuff. Like, she was in um, the second Sherlock Holmes movie, but she hasn't done a lot of stuff, dude. Huh. Looks interesting to me. Rupture. Well, let's see what else they got. They got that, they got both moms, they got... Oh, Chillerama. I've heard of Chillerama, but I've actually never seen it. Looks really interesting. The Ultimate Midnight Movie. Look at that cover, dude. That cover looks fantastic, dude. Adam Green, Joel Lindsay. The Ultimate Midnight Movie. Tim Sullivan. A kick-ass love letter to the drive-in. A gloriously depraved good time. I might have to check this out, dude. I've had, I have actually heard good things about Ch Chillerama. People who have seen it that I know have told me it's really good, so I definitely got to give it a look, man. That's really cool they have this, dude. They have some really unexpected titles this time around. Ones I was not expecting they would have, guys. Um, Power Kids. Die Hard with Kick-Ass Kids. Boy, what a what a interesting sort of description. Die Hard with Kick-Ass Kids, really. It's got call classic potential for grown-ups. Look at that. Sort of tongue-in-cheek, kids kicking ass against adults that don't know what the hell they're doing type of movie. It's interesting. It's got cult classic. Hmm. Maybe? I remember movies like Three Ninjas back in the day, which I used to love. So this is interesting. Power Kids. Hmm. Maybe it's good? Hmm. They've got Bob Funk. Welcome to my decline. Rachel Lee's Cook's best film since She's All That. I love She's All That. I think She's All That's great. That's an interesting cover art. Guess what's on his mind. Uh, an attractive executive joins the, the Funk family. Oh, son, Bob is on a downward spiral facing each morning with... That looks really interesting, not gonna lie. His mother to to fire him. God, this looks really sort of weirdly bizarre co comedy, like sex comedy. <laughs> that looks interesting. Man, the things you find in the Dollar Tree, I'm telling you. Um, more DC Universe stuff with Green Lantern. Yo, it's awesome. Um... The Seat Filler, Kelly Rowland and Dwayne Martin. Kelly Rowland. 
The only thing I ever saw Kelly Rowland in movie-wise was Freddy vs. Jason, and outside of that, never seen her in anything else. Not gonna lie, probably wouldn't be interested in this, but... If you're a fan of Destiny's Child, maybe... Kelly Rowland might- this movie might get ya? Maybe? Hmm. Uh, Luna... Lady Blood Fight. Fight for your life. Uh, I like the name, Lady Blood Fight. Her way through Hong Kong, sort of surviving and kickboxing and face off uh, against her rivals. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, Batman, The Return of the Cape Crusader. I think we saw this one other time at dur 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 during the sale. I've never seen this one, but I love the old school Bat Batman stuff. And my friend John, who owns this one, actually says this is a really good movie, dude. He, he really had a ball with this one. Especially if you're fans of the old school stuff, like with Adam West, man. This stuff is definitely worth it. Hmm. Um, Justice League Gods and Monsters. Another DC Universe original movie. Man, we're seeing a shit ton of that stuff, guys. Whoa. Man, a lot of that stuff. Batman, The Brave and the Bold. That's interesting. Hmm. That they have Singularity, The Silent War, The Sea with Syrian Hines and Sinead Cusack. Nothing stays buried forever. Finding meaning in the present by visiting the past. Life Max. Well, that looks interesting. Hmm. Seeing a little drama. They have Bat Kid Begins. No, I've never heard of this one. Huh, what is this about? A five-year-old boy who had fought through leukemia made one small. He wanted to be the real Batman. Oh, I think I heard about this. Yeah, he wanted to be the real Batman, and he it was for, for a day type of thing. Oh, yeah, and they, and, and they sort of did a little movie about it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's, oh, that's really sweet, man. That's awesome. Uh, Tom and Jerry, more Tom and Jerry, 300 Rise of an Empire, Night of the Living Dead 3D Reanimation. No, I've never heard of this one. It's, it's 2D plus, plus classic 3D DVD and it comes with the actual old school glasses with Andrew Divoff and Jeffrey Combs. God, they've made so many different type of Night of the Living Dead m m movies, dude. A lot of them are, fr frankly, garbage. I really like Andrew Divoff and, and Jeffrey Combs, though. They're really great. But I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I could give a chance to this one because it's kind of... Outside of the first Night of the Living Dead movie and maybe the remake with Tony Todd, there's not many I can really recommend, but... I mean, the cover looks cool, and I really like the actors, but... Mm, I don't know if I could really give it a chance, guys. Nah, not sure about this one. Definitely let me know what you guys think, but... I have a feeling it's not gonna be that good. Then they got, over here, they got... Daddy's Home... It takes a man to be a father. I think we might have actually seen this before as well, guys. A father with a little growing up to do. Hmm. Yeah, one of those sort of fathers with kids type of co comedy. Yeah, and the complications of it. Hmm. I think I'll pass on that one. Uh, In the Valley of Ela. Actually... I've heard this one was really good. I never actually got a chance to see it, but I really, I really love Tommy Lee Jones, Char Charlie Theron, and Susan Theron. That's a great cast, man. I heard this one was was actually really fantastic. Hmm. Not bad for for Blu-ray. Oh, nice. They have Focus. Nice. This is actually, by the way, guys, this is a really great movie. With Will Smith and Margot Robbie. This is a really fantastic one. I really like this quite a bit, dude. I do. A lot of really great twists and turns in there. Margot Robbie is sexy as hell here. Will Smith is great. This didn't do really well at the box office. I don't know why. Maybe 
the trailers weren't that great or people weren't really feeling the chemistry or something, but I thought this movie was really awesome, man. I really did, dude. I thought this was fantastic, man. It's really cool that they have this on Blu-ray, man, here for a dollar. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Wild Deep Animal Planet documentary. Oh, The Assignment. I ended up actually watching The Assignment um, a long time back. I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think I did a Netflix Nights on The Assignment. And it was basically like um, this woman who was actually a guy and they they changed her sex. Like forced her to change her sex and now she's out for revenge because she like no longer has a dick and she's pissed off about it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, pretty much, guys. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I mean, she's really pissed that she she has a vagina now. So yeah, good times. <laughs> I really, really do like Michelle Rodriguez, man. She is she is actually really kick ass, and she's one of my favorite like action chicks. I really love her quite a bit, man. It was actually not bad. Ah, the DVD of Porky's, classic, classic comedy, man sort of teen comedy really great dude i love this movie and let me tell you there's a lot of shit in this movie that you cannot get away with anymore dude let me let me tell you a lot of that shit would be on pc man yo really great move move movie though hmm. uh everything's gone green a slacker comedy oh it has like sort of guys sort of Searching for weed? A grow operation, hot online, and lots of hilarious hijinks. Um, dumped and fired, Ryan. Just had the worst day of his life. Oh, nice. Yeah, sort of like a weed sort of on an, an adventure type of comedy. Hmm. I do really like sort of movies like Road Trips and 40 Days and 40 Nights and sort of stuff like, like that. Never actually heard of this one though. Everything's gone green. Hmm. Slacker com comedy. Hmm. If you guys have heard anything about this sort of weed comedy, definitely let me know. Uh, Batman Unlimited, Monster Mayhem, more Batman. Uh, Eyes Front, Michael Madsen, uh, a serial killer's nightmare. Well, that looks interesting. That looks like a really cool co cover, actually. Eyes front. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, this chilling look into the tormented minds of two killers from completely different walks of life. Huh. Now, I never heard of this one. I really do like my Michael Madsen. I, he, see, I like him in the Quentin Tarantino stuff, and I like him in Species 1 and 2. But uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm not really a big fan of his, though. Hmm. Let's, let's keep going this way. Nice front. That that looks interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Quid pro quo. Vanquisher. Really? From the company behind Ong Bak franchise of Protector and Born to Fight. Vengeance has never looked so good. Interesting vanquisher. When failure could mean death, you strike back with full force. Starring explosive martial arts star. Hmm, sort of this martial arts sort of action film. No, I never heard of this one before. That's interesting. Vanquisher. That oh, looks kind of cool. Oh, uh, London Spy with Ben Wishaw and Jim Broadbent. Nice. Another B BBC special, man. We've seen a lot of B BBC stuff this time around as well. An emotional tour de force. Huh. A nice sort of political thriller. Looks kind of cool. I like Ben Wishaw and sort of the Bond stuff as of lately. He, he actually plays a really good cue. Huh. Looks kind of cool. Uh, we got... The Summoning. Interesting. Uh, sometimes the dead call the living. 
Hmm. It's kind of interesting. There's so many. Bodies can be buried, but spirits never die. It's been resting in a room from a middle-aged couple. That's interesting. Hmm. Is that Eric Roberts? Huh. Eric Roberts is in here. Dude, he does a lot of movies. Like he like he's like he's like working constantly. He's he's he does a lot of huge like straight to DVD stuff. The summoning. That is that is interesting. Hmm. Uh let's see here. Varsity Varsity Blood? School's out forever. Look at that cover, man. That's crazy. What in the hell is this? High school is murder. The football season, Hawkeye's highs, Warriors, and cheerleaders are out for blood. Unfortunately, someone is out for theirs, and they'll be forced. No, dude, I've never heard of this one. This was murder. That's crazy, dude. This looks really interesting. Varsity blood. That's some weird titles, man. That's really cool. Varsity blood. Uh, then, let's see, let's see, uh, the Coalition, when the players get played, revenge is oh so sweet, uh, inspired by actual events, huh, the Coalition, there's one more, hmm, oh, I've never heard of that one either, uh, let's see, Surveillance, oh, B Bill Pullman, Night, not bad, Deliciously Demented, hmm, Julia Armand. What is this about? When FBI agents Elizabeth Anderson and Sam Holloway I would have pleased a series of gruesome murders. Oh, this nightmare gets under your skin. Huh. Look at that. Some some dude in a mask. Huh. Looks kind of, kind of cool, actually. Never heard of surveillance. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Planes, trains, and trucks for little kids. 300. Uh, let's see. Whoa, lovely Molly. Fucking terrifying. Whoa, okay. Um, from the makers of the Blair Witch Project and Lord of the Rings. What a weird mashup, really. A haunting film that's ultimately timeless. Guaranteed to haunt you for hours or possibly days afterward. When newlywed Molly moves back into her family home. An evil force that wants to claim her soul. <laughs> this looks kind of interesting. I love the cover art, though. A lot of possession movies, though. Man, a lot of haven't been so hot, so I don't know about this one, man. But the cover art does look cool, though. Mm, let's see. Yeah, Amazon's Amazing Ocean 3D. Oh, her. This is a really great one. What another really great one with Joaquin, man. On Blu-ray, no less. This is a really great one, man. I really love, love this one quite a bit. Yeah, this is a really great, great sort of, sort of very dr dramatic comedy. You know, sort of him falling in love with, with sort of his, his cell phone. Very, very in, in, interesting. It has its, it has its nice romantic tones to it, but it's also very dark, and dramatic too. I really like this one quite a bit. Mm. Oh, nice. They have warm bodies. Interesting. Blu-ray DVD. Actually, actually, I don't mind warm bodies. I saw this one with Bob, and actually, it's pretty decent to be on, honest with, with, with you. It's sort of a really interesting sort of zombie romantic comedy. Interesting, sort of, sort of this zombie that's in his mind. He still has his mind and he's trying to sort of, sort of still live his life, but he's a zombie and he's in love with this chick. Really interesting movie. I kind of like it. It's not the best zombie movie, but... It's actually cool for people sort of getting into sort of the zombie genre. I think it's kind of actually fun. Oh, wow. They also have the gallows, too. Oh, the blue, blue, blue of the gallows. Nice. This is a this is a good horror movie. It's not a great horror movie. I, I, I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. 
That's actually not bad. I think they made a sequel to this, but I haven't even seen the sequel yet. It's, it's got its moments. It's not, it's not great, though, but it's got some moments, so. Uh, everything's gone green. A.K.A. Eminem. This almost looks like, like a bootleg movie. Like Eminem's life. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Her Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay, the second Harold and Kumar movie. This is a really fun one. A lot of people actually don't like it as much as the first one, but I can I actually kind of enjoy it though. I really do. It's it's fun. It's got it's got its moments, and there's a great scene at the end when they're smoking weed with George Bush, which is really really fantastic, man. I really like this one quite a bit. It's fun. That is fun, man. Uh, Curious George, uh, Beautiful Planet, The Easter Story, Werewolf Rising, City of Dead Men, which, which we have seen before in the past. It did look interesting, though. Hmm. Purely, he slowly begins to sense the horror that went on. Yeah, it did look in, in, interesting. Hmm. City of Dead Men. American Wrestler, A League of Ordinary Gentlemen, A Trip Through the Wild World of Professional Bowling. That's, that's interesting. I actually, back in the day, used to be a big bowler. I used to love that stuff. I don't really do it much anymore, but, well, to be honest with you, I'm pretty, I'm pretty goddamn terrible at it, but it, it is super fun, though. See, my favorite sort of bowling movie is Kingpin. The Kingpin is funny as hell. Interesting sort of documentary on guys playing bowling. Hmm. And I know it's like a huge sport, man. Like they have like like tournaments on ESPN and like people win win big money over that stuff. Man, it's ridiculous. Kind of crazy, man. Um Oh the Sacrament. That's that's a really good one. It's a really great horror movie. The sacrament, sort of like a cult leader, and you know, sort of getting getting trapped there and can't escape. Really good, good one, man. That sacrament's really good. Um, let's see, Spanky, men are slots, okay? Comedy. No, I never heard of this comedian at all. Very good. Hmm, no. There's a lot of comedians out there that I don't know of. Like, a lot of them pop up and they do, like, specials on, on Comedy Central, but I've never heard of them before. Spanky. Okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think of, of Spanky. Good or bad, guys. Definitely let me know. Then they got over here, they got the Adventure Club. Be the ultimate adventure. Oh, Dove approved, baby. Dove approved. Very nice. The adventure club here. Huh. Uh, Rocky with his friends. Cool. It's sort of like sort of this kids sort of adventure type of movie. I like these type of films. I, I watched a ton of them back when I was a kid, man. And I, and I always sort of think, think they're really cool for uh, for kids to, to check out, man. I really do like this type of stuff. I like the cover, though, too. The cover's really cool. Hmm. They also have... Royal Adventure? Hmm? Uh... Can't say I'd be interested in this one, but bring the royal bling in their first movie oh are these like really like popular chicks that i know nothing about maybe hmm i don't know anything about that that's interesting uh they have planet earth more sherlock holmes the valley of eli dinosaur adventures Ah, Rush Hour 3, the, the, the two-disc Platinum series. If you guys remember the old Platinum series, man. Man, that takes me back. 
You know, honestly, guys, I'm not a huge fan of, of Rush Hour 3. I like Rush Hour 1. I really like Rush Hour 2. But Rush Hour 3, dude, it feels really forced and not as funny as the other ones. And it feels like sort of Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, especially Chris Tucker, sort of lost a step or two. I heard they were actually going to do a fourth one, but that never actually happened. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't because I really don't want to see them be being unfunny. This one just really kind of a lame attempt. I really didn't like this one a lot, guys. Really didn't. Wasn't a fan of it. Uh, oh, the Blu-ray is something borrowed. Nice. This is not a bad romantic comedy. I kind of like this one. And it's interesting because this has John Krasinski in it, and he was doing a lot of these sort of romantic comedy movies for a long time, dude. That's all he would get. And I kind of like that now he's doing, like, thrillers and horror stuff and sort of action stuff now, but he was sort of the, like, the go-to romantic comedy guy he was always like the the sidekick dude i'm glad he's getting more better material this was not a bad movie though um downfall of a champion inspired by a true story hmm oh sort of sort of cycling and racing and everything hmm interesting more dance cardio. Man, a bunch of, bunch of that. Samantha and American Girl Holiday. I think I'll pass. Parker's Anchor. She's still a work in progress. Hmm. Everybody needs somebody to help them along. Life hasn't gone to plan for Chris Parker. Sort of a drama about discovering herself type of movie. Looks interestingly enough. Hmm. Nick Cannon, Mr. Showbiz. Dude, I've never liked n n Nick Cannon. I'm not going to lie, man. I've never li like, like, liked him. I, I, I don't... I mean, I know he has that show Wild Out or Wild and Out. Yeah, I have no interest in Wild and Out. I, I, and I, I just think he's not really a great a entertainer. Uh, I, yeah, I've never been a fan of his. I know a lot of people really like Nick Cannon, but I've just never been on board with, with, with the guy. Even his film roles, I couldn't really get into his stuff, unfortunately. I mean, I hate to say it, but really can't. Um, Frankenstein with James Purefoy. A gripping retelling of Mary Shelley's gothic masterpiece. Hmm. You know, I really like the old school Frankenstein and they've made a lot of different type of Frankenstein movies and you know, they did that one with Robert De Niro where he was Frankenstein and they've done a few other ones like Young Frankenstein a lot of different types of ones um they even had in Van Helsing they even had sort of Frankenstein in there sort of Frankenstein's monster and everything uh, it depends on how you do it sometimes it's really good other times it can be really cheesy I don't know how this one is though hmm Definitely let me know what you guys think of this one. Uh, let's see here. Then they have over here, they have Florida State Parks. Okay. Intruders. Top Gear, Werewolf Rising, Dunkirk. Rise of the Robots. They call that the Terminator franchise. <laughs> Interesting people documentary. Royal Adventure. Ninjago Day of the Departed. Cool Lego thing. Yeah, they did that Lego Ninjago movie that didn't really do so well, unfortunately. But, um, hmm. Lego Ninjago. Uh, the Best of Dragnet. God. I used to watch Dragnet on, on like, old reruns and everything. Man, a long time back, dude. God, man, blast from the past, man. Yo. 15 episodes. Hmm. Bad. They've got the Blu-ray of Run All Night. Not bad. Uh, for all you yoga fans. Alright. Oh, the Tudors. Well, that's interesting. The first season, episodes 6, 7, and 8, the uncut edition. I heard this was a really good show, but I've never actually watched it, man. But I heard it was really good, though. I'm sort of not big into this time period. That's why I didn't really get into it. But I think a lot of people really told told me it was it was worth it though. Hmm. 
I wonder what makes these ones un, uh, uncut. Probably just more sex and nudity, I would imagine, but hmm, interesting. Uh, I've got the Phenom uh, with Johnny Simmons, Paul Giamatti, Ethan Hawke. I think we might have seen this before. I think he's on his... Hmm, looks interesting. Uh, Chima... Chris George 2. The Last Word with Winona Ryder and Wes Bentley. I've never heard of this one. A romantic comedy where opposites distract. Looks like Ray R Romano, too. I really like Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder, man, she's really... I don't know if I would say underappreciated, but God, she's done a lot of really great work, and I don't think many people really talk about her as much as they should. She's done a lot of really great stuff that goes un uh, unnoticed. Hmm. Huh. I don't know if I could see her having a chemistry with Wes Bentley, though, but I, I do love Winona Ryder, not, not gonna lie. Um, great Barrier Reef. multi-feature of weather girl crazy little thing and confessions of a sociopathic social climber really i've never heard of any of these three oh i may have heard of weather girl but i've never heard of crazy little thing or confessions of a sociopathic social climber wow this is interesting huh that is quite the title for the third one, dude. It's something I've never sh seen from Jennifer Love Hewitt before. Jenny McCarthy. Huh. If you guys know any about these, let me know. That's interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, more Breaking Dawn. Fantastic. Oh, Joy, which we did see the last time during the sale, I believe, or the time before that. This is a really good movie, though. I really do like, like this one quite a bit. A great true story. Um, they got, uh, they got, um, God, so much goddamn Twilight. Yeesh. Her. Pray for morning. There are worse things to be than dead. Okay. Jackson Rathbone is in this. And Udo Kier. Oh, my man, Udo Kier, baby. Yeah. The plan was to spend one night in the abandoned Royal Crescent Hotel where in 1950. Oh yeah, so they're 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 being haunted by by something. Oh, interesting. Interesting indeed. I love me some Udo Kier, man, not gonna lie. Never heard of Pray for Morning though. This must be an old one. Heard of that one. Hmm. Uh Mr. Showbiz, Superheroes. Butterfly Sword. Michelle Yeoh and Donnie Yen. God, this is this is must be an old movie, man. Look at Michelle Yeoh. She's young. From the action director of Dragon Inn, The Duel, and Hero. Hmm. I've never heard of Butterfly Sword. I remember things like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and stuff like that that really piqued a lot of people's in in interest in the genre and everything, but it's an interesting one with Donnie Yen. Hmm. But butterfly sword. Definitely let me know what you guys think of that. Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, they got the phenom. Now uh, they got campaign. Deep. Hmm. Mirage. Dude, doesn't that look like Adam Sandler from like a distance? Yo. interesting mirage uh let's see they got that they got that space chimps they borrowed how do you know not a fan of this one guys i'm not a big fan of this one it, it's an okay movie i like paul rudd in it i pretty much like paul rudd in anything jack nicholson is good but i mm, not a big fan though guys i don't know i'm not a huge fan of reese witherspoon outside of a couple roles not really this was okay but can't say I really loved it though. Danger Close. Special Ops. I think we saw this one before too. Um, more yoga. C 
Christmas bounty with the Miz. He, man, they really are forcing the Miz down people's throats, aren't they? He, I think he has like a TV show with his wife or something, and their baby, and he does a lot of these sort of action movies, sort of these B movie action stuff, which is not all that great. And boy, they are pushing him in a big bad way. And now they're pushing him for the Christmas season, guys. Yay! Uh, here's your two. Oh, middle school. The worst years of my life. I think the worst years of my high, my life was high school, but whatever. I, I guess you could count m m middle school, too. Interesting. Hmm. I like the cover. Very vibrant. Adventure. Superheroes. Jago. Dragnet. Yoga. Wow. Man, there is a lot of stuff here, man. Damn, there's a lot of stuff stuff here just just at the be be get getting here. And we haven't even gotten to the bottom stuff yet. And now we're down over here, guys, and I had to take it off of the sh the shelving in order to see all of the movies that I possibly could show you guys. Um The Christmas Bunny with Florence Henderson. <laughs> really everyone's favorite mom is in a Christmas movie Christmas Bunny. Oh, and another Dove Approved special. Not bad. Christmas Bunny. That's interesting. Uh, what else they got? Yeah. Pray for morning. Uh, the Hoarder. I've heard of this movie. It's got Misha Barton in it. Yeah. His collection is almost complete. Look at that, dude. That's a great cover, man. There's room for a few more pieces. Nice. See, after the OC, Misha, Misha Barton didn't get a lot of work, man. She was kind of doing all these sort of cheesy horror flicks. That's interesting. The Hoarder. That's cool that that comes with the slip, though. Hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, Copacabana. It's interesting. Copacabana. Hmm. It's interesting. Copacabana here. Uh, let's see, uh, pray for morning, Burton Taylor, oh, okay, yeah, Elizabeth Taylor, Hel Helena Bonham Carter, that's interesting, I, didn't, I thought I've heard of this at some point, but I don't think I ever saw it, yeah, that looks actually kind of cool, Usually, Hel Helen Bonham Carter usually plays, like, these weird type of roles. This is interesting. She's playing... Taylor, interesting. God, it's really interesting. Um, beginners. Whoa, never-ending story, too. Holy crap. That's crazy that they have this, dude. Wow, it's been so long since I've seen this movie, dude. Talk about a blast from the fucking past. Everending Story 2, my god, dude. That's a long blast from the past, man. It's been so long since I've seen this movie. Wow. I love the first one. The second one's good, but it's nowhere near as good as, as, the, as the first one, though. But damn, it's been so long since I've watched this. Wow, it's crazy. Um, June? Evil Rages Within. Look at that cover, man. With all the knives and everything. They're like all floating. She's like... Controlling them. Darkness is her destiny. Look at that. And dude, she tries to be good no matter where she goes. Huh. Oh, Casper Van Dien is in this. Interesting. Another Casper Van Dien movie I've never heard of. June. That's an interesting one. Uh, let's see... We're back to Oz. That's interesting. There's George, happily ever after. Uh, let's see. There's a couple Blu-rays. Gallows. One Life. BBC Earth. Superman. Batman vs. Two-Face. Oh, that looks really cool. Another sort of Adam West. That's really awesome. Huh. Got that. L... El Contante with Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony based on the life of salsa legend Hector Laveau 
No, I never heard of this one. Like, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony were a huge item back in the day, man. I didn't know they actually made a movie together. No, I never heard of this one. This one must have not even came to theaters, and if it did, it was... I didn't hear that it did. With huge stars like that, I'm surprised I never heard of this one. Hmm. El Contante. God, I hope I'm saying it right. I'm not butchering the shit out of it. Um... The Casual Vacancy. Based on the novel by J.K. Rowling? Really? No, I never heard of this one. That's interesting. Look at that. Rowling's adult drama rises. No, I didn't think she made anything outside of Harry Potter. Whoa. That's really cool. No, oh, I never heard of the casual vacancy. That's interesting. Um, let's see here. Batman vs. Robin. Oh, that's really cool. Um, Batman, Bad Blood. God, so much Batman, dude. Oh, all you Batman lovers out there. They have quite a bit of stuff, man. Um, Two Women. Haunted Asylum, which I know we've, we've seen before in, in the sale. Um, and as Puppies with Kittens. London Spy. Ghost Story, The Turn of the Screw. Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, let's see. Smurfs and Friends. A lot of cool stuff for, for kids, actually. Knights of the Damned. The Game. Oh, sort of like a... Sort of like a... Interesting spy mo movie. Kind of like that one with Ben Wishaw. Hmm. Another BBC special. I've seen a ton of that. Sh Sharpay. Oh, wow. Look at that, man. That That's a young... That's a young Sean Bean, man. This one's been a while ago. It's young. Jeez, I hope he doesn't die like, like a lot a lot of his other roles. That's interesting. God. Justice League of the Monsters. The Porter. I'm to the movie. Boy, there's a lot, a lot of, of, of stuff here, guys. Then the next box over here, they have The Ten, which is actually a really good movie. But somebody ended up commenting that all, they said that a lot of the copies of The Ten at the Dollar Tree stores have disc rot on them. Which mine didn't actually come with disc rot. I, I might be one of the lucky ones, but that, that's what I heard. Which is kind of kind of crazy, and that's something you definitely got 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 to watch out for. Because once disc rot starts, it's kind of really hard to get that stuff off. It pretty pretty much is impossible, guys. Um, million Dollar Baby, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, nice, Salt hats, Yoga for Kids, Four Hundred Calorie Fat Blast, Three Fifteen Minute Workouts. Yeah, too much for me. Uh, inheritance. Interesting. Look at that. Keith David is in this. A new meaning to blood relatives. Look at that cover. I actually didn't really notice that at first. Like her, like she's taking her head off. That's really interesting. Five ambitious cousins set out on a family reunion during the dead of winter. Hmm. Interesting, another indie horror film I've never seen. God, that cover does look cool, though. Uh, come there. Night of the Living Dead, 3D. More Twilight. Chicago, Bariqua, It's All Hot. What, it's like a porno or something? What the fuck? In the Puerto Rican neighborhood, lies in tales of passion, violence, and betrayal from the... Oh, it's sort of like the mean streets of of Puerto Rico and sort of the sex and deceit and everything that goes with it. It's interesting. Right? Uh, karate Dog. Wow. Jamie Presley, John Voight, Simon Rex. 
featuring the voice of Chevy Chase. Boy, this this one, dude, Simon Rex. The last thing I saw Simon Rex in was um, one of the scary movies, dude. It's been a while. Dude, what in the hell is this karate dog? <laughs> Look at John Voight, man. Damn, this is like bottom of the barrel for some of these people, man. It's probably like cheesy fun, but that's about it. Karate dog. Interesting. 12 Dogs of Christmas. Devil's Rock. Paris Countdown. Lock, stock, tick, tock. I like that with the gun bu bullets and everything. Hmm. Drug deal gone bad. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I like the cover. Uh, Sugar Mountain. Hall Pass. Nice. I do like Hall Pass. I'm not in love with Hall Pass, but I like the idea, and I think it's actually kind of cool. Um where they could get a hall pass to have sex. I kind of like that. The enlarged edition. Nice. Not a bad kind of comedy. Uh, Yankles. Queens of the Ring, which you've seen before. Pretty bad actors we've seen before, too. Bad. Panic button. Roadkill. A sci-fi original movie. That's a cool cover, actually. But that doesn't mean because a lot of those sci-fi original movies are real shit. Look at that. A road trip they will never forget. Mm, probably as cheesy as shit, dude. Most of sci-fi movies are cheesy as shit. Just saying. They really honestly are. Harold, The Ten. Hmm. And... and Interesting stuff for sure, guys. Oh, and the media keeps on rolling along, guys, uh, with... Yeah, better left on side. Uh, Splinter. We saw this the last time at, during the sale. It does actually kind of look good, and somebody said that this was a really great sort of edge-of-your-seat thriller. Somebody really did say, say that, actually. It does look interesting, though. Uh, some kind of hate. A vicious, poignant new take on the supernatural slasher. Well, that's interesting. Strong, scary, smart, and sinister. Relentless bullying has turned Lincoln's life to... Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, American Wrestler... The Cyclist, which I believe we saw this uh, last time or the previous one before that. Hmm, you know, in the inspirational sports story. Not bad. A Dirty Shame, the neutered version, by the way. Um, I've told you guys to definitely check this movie out, but check out the the um, the unrated ver version, which is way raunchier and way over the top ridiculous. I love John Waters. I haven't seen all of his movies. But this one, I think, is more on the lower end. I, I don't love it, but it is definitely worth watching, especially if you're a John Waters fan. Uh, the Ten, pretty bad actress. Wolf Cop, not bad. Entourage movie. I mean, um, her. What's this? Oh, wow, Easy A. That's great that they have this. This is a really great sort of, um, I, don't know, I would say sort of romantic comedy, teen comedy type of movie. Emma Stone is fantastic in this, man. I really love this movie quite a bit, dude. I think this movie's great. Oh, that's really cool that they have this, man. That's awesome. I already own this, but this is well worth it for, for a dollar. That's awesome. Um... Client 9, The Rise and Fall of Elliot Spitzer. Oh, yeah, the whole money, sex, betrayal thing. I didn't know they actually made a, a, mo a movie about it. Huh. Yeah. What a scumbag. Jeez. Um, God. God. Sisters, the musical. Okay. Could be kind of cool, actually. 
I am a fan of musicals, but there's a lot that I don't really like. The music has to be worth it. Kind of infectious. I don't know if this is or not. Hmm. Let's see here. That. Thousand to one. Oh, sort of a movie like Faith and sports. Yeah. Dove approved, though. The Night of the White Pits. We, we, we saw this the last time, I think. This, this looks really cool. A young, a young Nick Stahl and a young Selma Blair. Man, this must have been an older style movie, though. One Hilarious Night. Looks fun. Hmm, that, that, that'll look like a fun one. Um, Roxy Hunter. A mermaid movie. Uh, let's see. Rudo versus Kersey. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. This is crazy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's Russell. Exactly. Johnny Two film? Released by Magna. See, I love all these quotes, man. Like, they have these quotes like, it's one of the most accomplished, elegant, and exciting action films of the year. Of course, they're, they're, they're gonna branch onto something to kind of get people to check this out, dude. I mean, I like a good martial arts action movie, but... There's a lot out there, man, that are real stinkers, though. Hmm. Raging Phoenix. Oh, we we saw this the last time, I think. Raging Phoenix. We we did. Looked kind of interesting at the time, though. Hmm. Uh, hip hop laws of success. Interesting. The poltergeist of Borley Forest. We might have seen this before, or maybe not. It will not rest in peace. If it follows you home, it will drag you to hell. Oh, sort of teens partying, and yeah, you know they they're they're getting killed one by one, and I uh, you know, stupid teenagers. The only stupid teenagers I like are the Friday the Thirteenth teenagers for sure. Hmm. Um. Palo Alto, a high school reunion. Aaron Ashmore, Tom Arnold is in this. Really? Ben Savage. Huh. It looked like an interesting sort of high school type of comedy. Mm hmm. hmm. Interesting. Palo Alto. Okay. Do Spy Kids. Hmm. Boy, man, a lot of stuff to check out here. Then, over here, guys, I'm seeing they have Holiday 2-Pack of Curious George, All-Star Superman, Splinter, Pilates, okay. <laughs> here is George. Oh, they have the other man. This is actually a really good movie. I ended up actually um, watching this a long time back. Really good one, sort of... Uh, sort of um, um, she's sort of sleeping with another man and her husband has to try to find out and there's more like secrets going on than he realizes. It's actually a really good one actually. Not a bad sort of like um, s sexual thriller. I actually really like this one quite, quite a bit man. It's not one people really talk about but it's really good. Uh, Entourage movie. Her. The Borrowers. Seven bonus movies in here. Uh, the Young Messiah, which is more or less sort of like, you know, a pretty much like, you know, you know, the savior type of film. Hmm. Uh, oh, Ace the Case. We actually, I think, saw this the last time around the sailor, but the one previous to that. This was a weird one, man. With Susan Sarandon of this, like, girl and her she her her neighbor gets kidnapped or something and she she has to go and take mad matters into her own hands with her puppy and her gigantic fucking rabbit like it was looked really weird man 
Huh, look at all the weird ones. Um, Super Sprinters. Numb with Matthew Perry. We saw this pr in a previous sale. A medicated love story. Really interesting. Kevin Pollack, Mary Steenburge, and Lynn Collins. Matthew Perry is a good actor, but he doesn't get a lot of roles, man, unfortunately. He really doesn't. Hmm. Looks interesting. Uh, oh, they have... Iborg. <laughs> nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. With Danny Trejo, really? What the hell? In the near future, a sphere of terrorism escalates. Privacy is a luxury of the past. Hmm, okay. Robotic cameras known as Iborgs. Oh, man. Trejo. Trejo probably has, like, like a cameo in here, man. Iborgs. Oh, one of those cheesy B movies. Yeah. Uh, also have um, evidence. Murder is an art. Interesting. Uh, Rod Mitchell, Stephen Moyer. I used to really love Stephen Moyer on True Blood. He was really great in True Blood, but haven't seen him in much after that. Uh, the mystery unfolds becomes telling you that the killer is here. Mm, looks, looks good. Hmm. This doesn't look, look like anything special, but looks kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, let's see what else they got here. They got 300 Rise of an Empire, Dinosaur Project, Gallows, Rookie of the Year. Great movie. One of the one of my favorite like baseball movies of all time. I love this movie. A great one. Batman out of the shadows. Man, was in a lot of Batman. Journey to the Center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser. Great movie, man. Um well, it it I enjoy it. I know some people don't enjoy this one, but I really enjoy it. And you know what? Brendan Fraser, man, was a really cool like action adventure guy back in the day and he really doesn't do it anymore he's well he's, he's frankly kind of out of shape to be honest with you but i used to love him in these like adventure movies like the mummy and stuff like that really cool uh tomorrow you're gone steven dorf willem dafoe sranken mm, looks okay hmm. that and then Powers of Rather Ration, pretty much Jesus. Scorpion King 3. We've seen this before, I think, during the sale. I only like the first Scorpion King. I, I think that's not a bad movie. Everything after that, I really have no interest in. I mean, I think Billy Zane's cool, and I do like Ron Perlman, but can't say I would be interested in a third Scorpion King film. Uh, yeah, no, not really, guys. Uh, appetite. True love has never been so deadly. Almost looked like a like a biker Bonnie and Clyde almost. And her brother living out in the desert, hurting young men for sport and dinner. Are they like cannibals or something? What the hell? Well, Daisy. Enjoy these games, she can't help us. And then, John has some eccentric hobbies of his own. Oh, well, that's interesting. I never heard of this one before. Appetites. Looks, looks kind of unique, actually. Hmm. High roller. Hmm. Yeah, there's some very interesting movies this time around that I had. Definitely have not heard of, man. And speaking of more movies, definitely more to uh, check out. Down here and more stuff to check out. My God, man, this sale this time around has a huge amount of stuff, guys. Holy moly. Wow. Uh, more New Moon. That. Attack on Leningrad. With Mira Servino and Gabriel Byrne. Really? Huh. 
That's really interesting. I really love Gabriel Byrne, man, and Mira Sorvino, as I said, dude. I love her, too. Never heard of this one. The cover is kind of cheesy, though. I mean, I'm sure it's a very serious movie, but the cover doesn't really kind of look all that good. It looks like a really cheesy cover, but it's probably a really interesting movie. Huh. Attack on Leningrad. It's interesting. Um, Born Royalty. Finding Phil. The Game. Just like that. Arthur, King of the Britons. Oh, Jack and the Giant Slayer. Nice. I did watch this movie in theaters. I thought it was okay. I liked it. I didn't love it. I like the effects here. I like the story, sort of the take on sort of James and the Giant Peach in a lot of ways. I thought Ewan McGregor was really cool in it. Yeah, it wasn't bad, honestly. I, I thought it was pretty decent. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Um, trash fire, we've seen that before. Top Gear. Oh, wow. The Town that Dreaded Sundown. That's really cool that they have this. This is actually the... It's kind of like a sequel, actually, because there's an original The Town That Dreaded Sundown movie that came out in the 70s, and this is more of like a follow-up to that. Like, it takes place many, many, many years later, and sort of the killer comes back, but you don't know who's the killer and everything. I liked this one. This wasn't bad. I thought it was pretty de de decent, actually. It's not exactly a reboot... But it's not exactly a sequel either. It kind of treads the line a little bit. But I like the killer. I like the kills here quite a bit. I think it's actually not a bad slasher movie. Yeah, I definitely would recommend it for, for slasher fans. Yeah, I quite like, like that one. But that's actually really shocking that they have that one here. Uh, let's see here. Fire. They have Owl. Beautiful planet. Outlaws and Angels. Chad Michael Murray, Luke Wilson, Terry Polo, really, great cast, not a fan of Old West stuff, I haven't been a fan of Old West stuff in a long time, there's some that I really like, like the last one I really liked was The Kid, I thought that was a really great one, but mm, hard to get me in into a really good, good western though, that... The Little Hours. Wow, look at that cast. Alison Brie, Aubrey Plaza, John C. Riley, Dave Franco, Molly Shannon, Fred Armisen. That's interesting. One of the funniest movies of the year. It is trash. Pure trash? With nuns? What? In the Middle Ages, a young servant flees from his master and takes refuge at a convent full of emotionally unstable, sexually frustrated nuns. Okay. That seems that that could be a recipe for hilarity and a lot of dark humor. Very interesting. I've never heard of The Little Hours, but it kind of looks unique. I love the cover here, man. And sexually frustrated nuns, what can possibly go wrong? Very interesting. Hmm. You may have Band Slam. With Vanessa Hudgens and Lisa Kudrow. Hmm. They need to win the music competition and the hilarity of it. And, you know, they're rocking out. Vanessa Hudgens rocking out, right? Really? Give me a break. It, it is Dove approved, though. So it is, it is one of those for all ages. Hmm. Yeah, I'll pass on Band Slam. Little Hours. Oh, the heavy clips. We've seen New Moon. We've seen Breaking Dawn Parts 1 and 2. And now we see Eclipse. I actually, not going to lie, guys. I'm not a big fan of the Twilight stuff. But I kind of like the Eclipse, though. I know a lot of you are going to say, like, really? I'm not a fan of the Twilight series. Okay, I swear, guys. But I kind of thought Eclipse was one of the better ones out of all of the Twilight series. Honestly, I, I, I really did. And again... I saw this movie with Bob, and yes, he wanted to kill me. <laughs> so, uh, just imagine him in the theat theater looking at me with complete contempt. Yep, that's what happened.
But honestly, we, we walked away thinking this was not bad, though. And then all that goodwill kind of turned to shit in Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2. Um, oh, Casino Jack. Nice. This is a really great movie, man. It's inspired by a true story of this sort of lobbyist play by um, Kevin Spacey. And, it, you know, how he sort of sort of influencing government and sort of the hilarity of it. It's a really great movie, dude. John Lovitz is great. Kelly Preston, Barry Pepper. Everybody does a great job. It's a great movie. I'm really glad they actually have this. I'm kind of shocked, actually. Hmm, Casino Jack. Barney's version. With Paul Giamatti, Rosemont Pike, Mini Driver, Dustin Hoffman. No, I never heard of this one. The true story of a man's life depends on who tells it. Oh, 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 based based on, on, on a novel. Huh. Great cast, dude. Hmm. That looks really interesting. His version. Um, let's see here. Tidal wave. <laughs> there is no escape from nature's wrath. Well, damn right. Look at that. Man, those people are so fucked. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Probably, probably a very cheesy disaster movie, but hmm. The cover though looks cool. Um, Run all night, Dunkirk, Valley, Leela, the evil in us. There, Slender. Oh, this is one about the Slender Man. Don't trust the shadows, right? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be pretty much the Slender Man. The mysterious suited man at first of friends. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much Slender Man, dude. I mean, Slender Man is creepy. I'm not gonna lie. He has, he's very creepy and he's... The origins of it is, is very creepiness. But, I mean, you gotta make a good movie out of it. I, I, I ended up seeing that Slender Man movie. And what garbage that movie is, dude. Like, there's a good idea there, but that was shit. I don't know if this looks any better, though. Maybe. Hmm. That's an empire. Kung Fu Yoga with that great one with, like, Jackie Chan in a, in a, in a fucking car with, with a lion. That's great. I think we've seen this one before, but it, it's still, it still is great to see that cover, dude. Jackie Chan, man. Man, he does some wild movies, dude. Wow. Green Lantern. Ah, the the, the Scooby Doo movie with, with with Sarah Michelle Gellar and all though, nice. Actually, not a bad movie. The first Scooby Doo one, it's actually pretty decent. The second one I didn't care for, but this one's not bad though. Hmm. You do Pilates, H Pilates, super villains, Sex in the City Essentials, fashion. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um. I do have to admit, I I am a fan of Sex and the City. I do like most of the show. I think the show is actually really good. In fact, I saw the show with my mother. I know, right? Watching Sex and the City with my mom, that's kind of weird, I know. <laughs> but, you know, it's a good show with good characters and good situations. And the final season... Uh, the final season kind of went to shit a little bit. I really didn't like the final season, man. And the the movies kind of turned... I mean, the, the early seasons are great, though. It is a good show, but... You know, the the, the final season not so great. Mm. Uh, Batman. Oh, Batman the Killing Joke. Oh, that's cool. Batman the Killing Joke. Nice. Then over here, guys, another box of uh, Campaign, The Infiltrator on Blu-ray. We've seen that before. The Mummy Animated Series Volume 1. Huh. They actually made a Mummy Animated Series. I didn't even really know that. It must take place, actually, after the third film because it's got the kid in there. Really, I actually never even knew they, they actually did that. That's kind of cr crazy, actually. Hmm. 
Was it any good? I don't even know. Definitely let me me know, guys. Was this was this really worth it? I mean, I have a feeling it would be kind of cool, sort of adventure for kids, but hmm, definitely let me know. Uh, new moon. Yes. Great, great cover art. And shout, Jerry. Final Fantasy Spirit. When I saw this movie, and I remember when this movie came out, a lot of people really shit on this film because I guess it didn't really like have the essence of Final Fantasy and people were really bitching about how it wasn't really a Final Fantasy movie. I mean, I'm not really a Final Fantasy fan, but I heard people like really bitching and moaning about it. Yeah, I really heard that, guys. I, I only watched it once. I never really re revisited after that. I, I didn't. I did, thought it was okay. I didn't really love it though. Hmm. Uh, Karate Dog. Mayhem. Killing Joke. All cheerleaders die. You can't kill their spirit. Now this is true. Oh, well, that's interesting. All cheerleaders die. I'm not gonna lie, in high school there were some cheer cheerleaders that I pretty much wanted dead. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Hmm. It kind of looks really cool, like a cool little slasher movie. Hmm. All cheerleaders die. Definitely let me know what you guys think of that one. And they got... Skip Trace? Ooh. With Jackie Chan and Johnny Knoxville. Really? I have never heard of this one. Ready, Set, Panic. From the director of Cliffhanger and Die Hard 2. No, I never heard of this at all. It kind of reminds me, this kind of reminds me of like, just the two of them together. It kind of reminds me of like Midnight Run or something. I never saw this one at all, dude. And that's weird. Did did this come to theaters? Because, like, with names like Johnny Knoxville and, and Jackie Chan, you'd think this would come to theaters, but I'd never heard of this one. That's, that's interesting. If you guys have seen this, definitely let me know. Is it worth it? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Knoxville. I'm more of a fan of Jackie Chan, but it's a cool little pairing. Kind of maybe a rush hour type of thing. Hmm. Well, let me know. That's interesting. I am love with Tilda Swinton. Hmm. Sorry. I love Tilda Swinton. She's awesome, man. Almost any anything she she does, I'll watch. Hmm. Gosh, she's awesome. Hmm, that's interesting. Who's in Field? The Innkeepers, which is not a bad sort of ghost haunting movie. Not bad. I didn't quite love it, but I thought it was really interesting. Yeah, I really, I, I really dug this one pretty much. It's not bad. Hmm. Definitely give that one a look. Uh, rhythmic. Uh, Duel of the Brave Ones. This must be an old one. Yeah, this is old. This is an old martial arts m movie. I never heard heard of this one. If you guys definitely let me know. Duel of the Brave Ones. This is an old, old martial arts one. Vanish. Tony Todd, Danny Trejo. They just kidnapped the wrong victim. Diana did Danny Trejo's like, ah, just die, god damn it. And she's like, try to get me, motherfucker. <laughs> That's an interesting cover. Hoping to score a hefty ransom. Three thugs viciously kidnapped a drug cartel's boss's only daughter. Wolf. Real great fucking plan. Jesus. Oh, and they think she's a pushover, and she's... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Huh. Danny Trejo and Tony Todd teaming up. Not bad. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. On the edge. You don't mess with the Zohan. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this movie. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't really love this movie either. I don't know, man. I mean... It's one of the lesser Adam Sandler movies. I know some people who really love Don't Mess With The Zohan, but I think it's just too goofy for its own good. <laughs> okay, there is some funny parts, you know, but it's just still, it's, it's a little bit 
overly ridiculous. Not my favorite Adam Sandler, though. Hmm. Interesting, it's a two-disc uh, unrated version. Uh, LL Cool J exclusive bonus DVD. Hmm. Thumbsucker. This is a really great movie. Thumbsucker is awesome, dude. If you guys ever get a chance to watch this, this is great. Some great performances, man. Keanu Reeves is really great here. Vince Vaughn. Vincent D'Onofrio. Great move, movie, dude. I love this film. That's, that's awesome. Christmas Bounty. Forget about it. On to yet another box, guys. And, uh... Oh. No Walmart exclusive. Wah, wah. <laughs> Inherent Vice High Roller which we saw last time during the sale but it still looks really interesting and I got to admit that you know Michael Imperioli in this in this role is could be really cool man again I only really know him from The Sopranos so I'd be curious to see this it looks like a really cool like sort of gambling poker story and i i'm i like a lot of those movies my favorite is definitely rounders but um i definitely would be be interested in checking this out at some point they have a freakonomics which you saw last time as well it's pretty good uh flintstones and the ww stone age smackdown really is that john cena who would win fred flintstone or john cena my money's on Fred. It's on Fred. Not gonna lie, guys. It is. That's really interesting. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Ooh, Saturday Night Live, the best of Saturday TV funhouse. The incredibly gay duo. <laughs> Look at that. You know, I gotta admit, Saturday Night Live did some really cool, like, animated TV sketches, man. Stuff that really sort of went out of its way to to like not pull any punches and and really do some really ballsy stuff man i gotta admit the incredibly gay dude duel was absolutely hilarious man that's pretty cool actually uh puppies and kittens friends always together uh diabetes focus something borrowed ah burt wonderstone yeah, I'm not really a fan of Burt Wonderstone. I do think Jim Carrey is hilarious in this movie. He is, he's the best thing about this movie. He is really just having a ball play, playing this role, man. Steve Carell, not really great here, man. You know, it's, Steve Buscemi's pretty good, but it's just a waste of a good movie with some good performances like Jim Carrey. Again, Jim Carrey is, is, is worth it, man. He's really having a great time playing this sort of like, Chris Angel sort of mind freak type of character, but other than that, not really worth it, man. Uh, let's see, Scorpion King Four, Quest for Power, Jesus, man, with Lou Ferrigno. You know what, man? I mean, at least with Scorpion King Three, you had Billy Zane, you had Ron Perlman. Here, they're just fuck it, man. We'll just get Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> like, like that's all we can afford, man. Like I said, dude, I mean, I mean, look at that, dude. It looks cheesy, man. It looks like every Scorpion King film got worse and worse, man. Like I said, I'll stick with the first one, which is not even a really a great movie, but it's, it's better than a lot of the subsequent sequels, man. Yeah, this looks like really sort of the bottom of the barrel, dude. I like Lou Ferrigno, but damn, dude, it looks cheap. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's... Jetsons and Robo WrestleMania, really? So we had, we had, um, where was that man? We had the Flintstones one. Now we have the Jetsons. I'm, I'm picking the robot made to be all of their asses. <laughs> Jeez, man, I didn't know they did these sort of team up animated movies. That's really cool, man. Huh. Unraj the movie, Million Dollar Baby, Celeste and Jesse Forever with Elijah Wood, Emma Roberts, and Rashida Jones. Hmm. That's interesting. What is this about? So, uh, if they divorced now, they could still remain friends. Oh, sort of like a comedy, but it's kind of like 
a dramatic comedy. Huh. It looks interesting. And uh, Andy Samberg is more of like the, um, he's more of the comedian, so he doesn't really do these type of movies that, that much. Huh. More of a serious role for him. Well, slightly serious, at least. It's interesting. Hmm. Dance High Roller. Four. Oh, wait a minute. Sonic. They made a Christmas Sonic movie? Or a Sonic Christmas special? Hmm. I never knew that. Sonic Christmas special. That's interesting. Uh, Angry Birds Tunes. Hollow Point. We did see Hollow Point before in the past, I believe. Or at least I thought we did. Pedro Quilce, Ian McShane, John Leguizamo. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't see it. Good men can do bad things. Great cast. Sort of like good men gone bad type type of movie with like cops and do, doing wrong things. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, Air Show Extreme... Aisha Tyler is lit. The next queen of comedy. Hmm. For all you Aisha Tyler fans out there. That's kind of interesting. And now on to the very last box, guys. Oh my god, the very last box here. Jeez. And we got the Lucy show right here. Hmm. Interesting. Lucy show. It's probably got, you know... Yeah, it's got some of the episodes from the Lucy show in there. Hmm. You know, honestly, I didn't really grow up with the Lucy show or anything, thing, so it's not really something I would be interested in, but I definitely respect Lucy as a comedian and as sort of a performer. I mean, my mother loves Lucy quite a bit. I just, I'm just not really as much of a fan of it, but I do definitely, definitely respect her in a big, bad way, though, guys. Hmm. Uh, also got Paradise, which we saw the last time during the sale. Uh, Horton, here's a who. Pray for morning. Aaron Vice, TMT. Dunkirk. Ah, one of those, one of those How to Train Your Dragons, sort of, um, one of those short specials. They've made a ton of these, haven't they? They made a crap ton of them. I mean, this this definitely How to Train Your Dragon is a whole franchise into itself. They made a whole ton of these like 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 short animated specials and like Christmas stuff and movies and merchandise. Man, I mean, it is a good fran franchise though. I will admit that though. I I do respect it because I think the movies are actually really good. Hmm. Seder, wrestler, her, the Homesman. Hmm. Like Tommy Lee Jones and Hilary Swank. I don't think I've actually heard of this one. Hmm. William Fickner, John Lithgow, Meryl Streep, Haley Steinfeld, James Spader, Miranda Otto. God damn. Now that is an impressive cast. See, the problem is it's sort of like, you know, in sort of type of like lawlessness, Old West type of stuff. I mean, the cast is great, but again, you know, it's got to be the perfect type of Western for me to really get into it. And these more sort of dramatic, slow burn ones are not really my favorite. But, but God, the cast is impressive, though. Jeez, just for that alone, it might be worth watching. Uh, I also have Blind with Alec Baldwin, and Demi Moore, and Dylan McDermott. I have not heard of this one. See Love in a Whole New Light. Mm. A novelist and blinded in a car crash in an affair with Demi Moore. Huh. That's interesting. Alec Baldwin is more of a comedic actor nowadays than he was back in the day, but this looks like a really interesting sort of dramatic, romantic style movie. And Demi Moore is great, man. Who who can't fall in love with Demi Moore? She is really just... She's, she's gorgeous, and she's just a talented actress. And I wish she'd do more movies, man. I mean, she she tried to make that comeback in that Charlie's Angels movie, and 
man, that was really a stinker, man. But she's really, overall, a really great actress. And I hope she does more work, dude, because she's... I think she has to pick the right role, but this is an interesting, sort of interesting to see what the chemistry would be between Alec Baldwin and Demi Moore. Oh, that would be... i just never seen this one, but it looks... It looks interesting. It kind of reminds me of that movie... There was a movie with Val Kilmer and Elizabeth Shue where he was blind and he sort of got his eyesight back and it's a romantic movie and this kind of reminds me of of that i forgot the name of it but kind of reminds me and and i did actually like that movie so this might be something up my alley Hmm. they've got the blu-ray of freakonomics uh beyond the farthest star hmm um Hmm. Interesting. They've got that. They've got Red Empire. Sleepy Hollow. Terror graduates. Scream meets Dawson's Creek. That's quite the mashup. And look, look at that old school DVD video logo. Damn, how old is this DVD? Holy shit. Tara graduates when five delinquent classmates must perform community service at Sleepy Hollow Park's ground. At that new unfolds, the students begin to realize that someone has taken the legends. Oh, it's sort of like this, this slasher that takes sort of the Sleepy Hollow sort of myth and sort of turns it into sort of a modern day sort of high school, you know, you know, killing teens t- type of movie. Interesting. Hmm. Sleepy Hollow. It looks really cheap as hell, though. God, it looks really cheap and terrible. Look at that mask, dude. Yo. This has got to be an old-ass movie. Wow, man. Damn, this is old. Never heard of this one before. Probably rightfully so, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> looks, looks really bad, man. Uh, the Intruders. Bible Mysteries. Under the Sundown. A whole bunch of yoga, workout stuff, chillerama, Blackwood. You can't outrun fate. Look at that. That's really cool, actually. Uh, oh, it's the estate, and he's being haunted by something in the estate. That's interesting. Hmm. Sort of like a haunted house sort of thriller. Hmm. Blackwood. I like the cover, actually. It looks cool. cool. And, ah, last, but certainly not least, Starsky and Hutch. You know what? I don't love Starsky and Hutch, but I will admit, though, that it has its fun moments, man. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson have good chemistry. I like Snoop Dogg here. Snoop Dogg is absolutely fucking hilarious in this movie. There's also a really great cameo, um... Uh, in this movie as well by Will Ferrell and he is funny here it's it's not a bad movie it's it's kind of interesting because it's it, you know some of the comedy works trying to trying to ape on sort of the 70s style and the TV show but also sort of Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson's comedy it's trying to be a mashup of everything it didn't quite work but there are moments that are not bad though but it has its fun moments. And crazy enough, I believe this movie was directed by... Yes, yeah, directed by Todd Phil- Phillips. And how crazy is it that Todd Phillips went on to do the Joker movie? Like, Starsky and Hutch to to Joker. Really odd, man. Talk, talk about a crazy transition. It's not bad. It's not one of the best Ben Stiller movies. And it's not one of the best Owen Wilson movies. But I think it has its charm, though. It has it has charm though, and I like that whole like Ben Stiller like, do it, do it, very cool. Not bad, bad at all. Well, guys, I'm not gonna lie, man. This sale is really cra- crazy and ridiculous. A lot of stuff here, man. A lot of stuff indeed. Wow, there is a lot of stuff to this sale this time around. A lot of stuff to check out. This was a mega, mega, huge ass sales. Tons of great titles, man. This is was worth checking out, guys, for sure. 
So look guys, the only way I knew about this was because somebody from the Dollar Tree told me about it, that they said, oh hey, we have stock in, and it's not like, oh, like the weekly Friday thing, it's just, we just got a bunch of huge amounts of boxes in, and hey, why don't you come out and check it out? And I'm like, okay, so I rushed from work, and I checked this stuff out, and there was a ton of stuff here, man. My God, man, the Blu-rays and the DVDs and all of the weird like B-movies and the foreign releases and some of the the imports and the the old style DVD stuff. Like there was so much variety this time around. Wow, dude. I mean, and all the time, by the way, guys, is that this this sale is only at this one dot Dollar Tree. Nobody else got anything else. Just this one. So it is crazy. I don't know whether they got all of the stock for every other store or whatnot, but it is insane, guys. There was a lot of stuff to check out here. There was a lot of really good stuff for sure, man. So yeah, I am pleasantly surprised by this for sure. So uh, yeah, man, this, this was a surprise, but a pleasant surprise indeed. All right, well, uh, let's head home and uh, finish the video, guys. Oh! All right, everybody, I am back now from the one Dollar Tree location that had new stock of Blu-rays and DVDs. And so when talking to um, one of the employees that I know at this location, they said that they got in uh, damn near 20 boxes. And some of them have obviously sold already and everything. But they said to me that for some reason, you know, they called the other stores in the area and they said, hey, did you get any? And all of them said, no, we didn't get any. We didn't get any stock of any of this stuff. So what this person thinks is that they could have just all been sent to this one location. Uh, it's just so weird, man. I mean... It's not, you know, usually these sales are sort of the weekly wow, but this isn't a weekly wow. They just randomly showed up, not even part of a Friday weekly wow, it just came. And so, it's one of those weird, like, unannounced, I don't know if anybody really ever saw it coming, it just happened. So, it was a really pleasant surprise, and again, you know, with, all of the, with all of the Black Friday sales coming up, the Cyber Monday stuff, um, all, a lot of media being on sale. Like, I just didn't think we were just going to get another one of these sales anytime soon. I just figured, you know, that uh, it was going to be safe for another time. But, I, surprise, surprise. I mean, it just happened. But, man, I'm sort of glad to really check this one out. This one had some really fantastic selection and I just don't know whether it was just this store got so much stuff in that it was just like hey there here's all the variety or what but man there was so much to check out this time around and uh you know a lot of that stuff for a dollar man you really can't beat that I mean even if you're on the fence about a title a dollar really just kind of makes it feel a little bit better you know what i mean i mean there's there's a lot of really great stuff this time around man so if you can get up on this if one of your dollar trees has it yeah i'd go and check it out guys i really honestly would now as far as i'm concerned well i did take advantage of the sale guys i mean there were too many ones to to sort of get i kind of wanted to at least check this one out and so I got 10 titles uh, from the Dollar Tree location. I, by the way, I could have gotten a hell of a lot more, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna cut it with 10. And the first one that I got was the Water Diviner. Now, the reason why I picked this up, to be honest with you guys, is that, you know, um, some of you have told me when I featured it the last time that it's a really good movie, it's really great, and a lot of you have said, hey, you know, you should really give this thing a chance because 
Russell Crowe's great in it. It's a great story. I think you're really going to like it. So I don't know if I'm going to really love it or not, but I decided to give it a chance for a dollar. It is worth it, at least to me. So uh, I'm not always the biggest fan of Russell Crowe, but I will say this, that, um, I, you know, for a dollar, I'm going to give it a chance, guys. So I did pick this one up. I also picked up Blu-ray of Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie, and I really did enjoy this film when I saw it in the theaters. I I, I thought it was a really, you know, sexy sort of cat and mouse type movie, and it's sort of a shame that it didn't get the love that it really, I think, deserves, honestly. And, you know, it was cool to see Will Smith and Margot Robbie team up again in Suicide Squad, but, you know... This will always be the first one that they did, and I think this is the far better one. But this is really good, man. And again, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, you know, I've always wanted to pick it up. But at some point, you know, you're picking up a lot of titles every month, and you think to yourself, like, uh, you know, I'll get it eventually, and this sort of goes to the wayside, and then you tend to forget about it. And when I saw it at the Dollar Tree, I'm like, man, I was going to pick this up at some point. Why didn't I? So, so now I can officially say I have it, and for a dollar, the damn good, damn good deal, man. So I picked up Focus. I also picked up DVD of Mayhem. I have been wanting to check this thing out for a while. Uh, you know, I I really like these type of movies, horror comedies, and. You know, Steven Yeun, I always love from The Walking Dead. Samara Weaving, who is starting to become a really great actress, has a lot of really great horror roles. I'm really dying to see this one. Everybody tells me it's really great. So I'm going to give it a chance. Again, for a dollar, if you're thinking about giving something a chance, a dollar really sways you in a lot of ways, man. And this did in a big, bad way. So yes, I did pick up Mayhem. I also picked up All Hallows' Eve. Now, that's, this is actually not for me, guys. Um, I'm actually giving it to a friend of mine, but honestly, this is a really great movie. Not only is it a really good horror anthology, a lot of cool twisted tales in it, but it's cool to see sort of the origins of Art the Clown. You know, Art the Clown has now come so far with Terrifier, and they're filming Terrifier 2, and has become this sort of, sort of household horror name in a lot of ways. And to think that it started here in this horror anthology that I think a lot of people don't really know about. So it's kind of cool to sort of get it out there a little bit more. And I was just was like shocked that this was at the Dollar Tree of all places. I was like, really? But yeah, this is a, this is well well worth it. A really decent horror anthology and just really cool like Art, Art the Clown stuff, man. Creepiness, demented. I had a lot of fun times with this one for sure, guys. So my friend is definitely going to enjoy this. I also picked up, I, you know what, I, I said fuck it, you know, I, I, I picked up Night of the Living Dead reanimation, um, I don't know, man, the, the reason why I picked it, this up, again, it was a dollar, and not only was it a dollar, but I'm like, oh, okay, it's got Andrew Divoff from, from Wishmaster, it's got Jeffrey Combs, uh, reanimator, uh, it's got some good people, you know, it, it, it's probably a really shitty movie, and I'm probably not going to keep it in the collection, but it's something that I want to check out, so, and I've never really seen it, and I've seen a lot of the Night of the Living Dead stuff, so I wanted to say, at least that I saw it, so for a dollar, I don't think I wasted my, my money, I, it, it's, it's pretty cool that it's, it's in classic 3D D, DVD, so I can actually wear the the glasses. Uh, that's kind of cool at least. So there are some upsides here. Mm, will it be fun? At least I'm hoping it is. So, you know, I can officially say I've seen another Night of the Living Dead reinterpretation. Hey, the dollar. I also picked up The Last Showing with Robert Englund. I had to pick it up, guys. I, I just, it looked really cool. The, him being this deranged projectionist, um, and just uh, uh, determined to make a movie that is truly to die for. I I really like that. I just I love Robert Englund, man. I've always loved him, and you know 
it's kind of interesting because he doesn't always pick the high profile projects. He picks the ones that are a little more low budget and twisted and he gets to sort of sort of, you know, uh be his B movie cheese and uh this looks kinda cool though. So yeah, the last showing. I don't know what to expect here, but um I love me some England, so I had had to get it, guys. Um I also picked up Dude, I, I picked up Evil Feed. I, I, I did. I, now, I don't know what the hell to expect with this movie. I have absolutely not a goddamn clue what to expect with, with it. To, to be fair, man. But for some reason, I just fell in love with the, the tagline alone, man. If you tap out, you're takeout. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, who comes up with this shit? Like, I'm like, this, this is great. It's so cheesy, man. It, it's really gory, it, it's, it looks bl bloody and twisted and demented, and I just, I just, I just can't wait to see what the hell this movie is, man. So for a dollar, I had to pick it up, man. I don't know what I'm in for, but um, it'll be well worth the dollar for sure. So I got that. I also picked up uh, that Ryan Gosling directed Lost River. I kind of told you guys I was going to pick this up. I wanted to pick it up because I've heard a lot of things about it. Some people really don't like this movie. And a lot of people really do enjoy this movie. So it's very split. Um, I, it kind of... Some people have said this movie kind of reminds them of like Nicholas Winding Refn a lot of ways. And that Ryan Gosling was really influenced by him. So it looks interesting. I don't know if I'm going to like it. But I think for a dollar I really wanted to give it a chance. So I did. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to checking this, this, this one out here. I also picked up uh, Chillerama. I wanted to pick up Chillerama, Chillerama because I thought it was... First of all, the cover art looks really awesome. I really love the cover art. Not only that, but it looks like really cool sort of short stories by these these directors it's a love letter to drive-in cinema it's a love letter to old style horror films it, it seems pretty cool and you know it's one of those ones that i've heard a lot of really great things about so it's something i wanted to check out uh so i wanted to give it a chance man so if i really like it i'll probably get it on blu-ray hopefully um but again this is another one i wanted to give a chance to and again when it's a dollar hey man you sort of open up the floodgates of your wallet a little bit more so uh Chillerama. And last but certainly not least, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> I picked up Karate Dog. Okay, I, hey look man, okay, for some reason, I want, I want to check this fucking movie out. Chevy Chase is voicing the dog. You've got John Voight in here. Simon Rex, Jamie Presley. What is this thing? Like, what What kind of goofy, off-the-wall, oddball movie is this? Dude, this, this, is, this is just weird. And I just want to check it out just to see what the hell this thing is, man. I really do. You know, it's got cute dogs in it, but it's also really weird because it's like... It's like, it's got, it's Dr. Doolittle, Dr. Doolittle meets Enter the Dragon, okay? Dr. Doolittle meets Enter the Dragon. That right there is enough to have me sold on it, man. That's it, just so weird, dude, but I really wanted to check this thing out. So for me, I, I'm going to give it a chance, man. I'm probably not going to like it. It's probably not going to end up in the collection, but boy, is it one of those oddities of a film that you just really have to, um... You you really have to just uh, open your eyes and just let let the images feed you. So, I, yeah, I got this one, guys. So, uh, I got uh, my ten titles right here, guys. Not a bad haul, but trust me, I could have gotten a hell of a lot more, man. There was a lot of really great stuff that this sale had this time around. It's just one of those impromptu sales that you didn't really know was coming, but so pleasantly surprised. The variety, the different type of titles, a lot more Blu-rays this time around, DVDs, uh, you know, a lot of really great and interesting uh, genres of, of selection that you had. Yeah, this was really great this time around, guys. I'm, I'm really glad I got to check it out. And again, for $1, you, 
you really cannot beat this sale guys it really is that awesome so like i said if you guys get up on this sale if you have dollar trees near you definitely go out hunting checking these titles out man because there's a lot of really good gets man and for a dollar a lot of these are really well worth it at least to at least give a chance to on top of all the other sales that you're going to be picking up stuff on definitely make room for some of the dollar tree stuff as well guys but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the other Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos. I have done movie hunting videos, blue Blu-ray pickup videos, movie reviews, and so much more. If you're a lover of movies and physical media, hit subscribe and become a part of the Film Fan Nation. Thank you everybody for watching the videos and subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate it. It's a big support to the channel and a big support to me. I appreciate it so much. So thank you for taking the time to, to do that. It makes me want to continue doing this for sure. And keep up to date with me through Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Film Fan 108, keep up to date with me with pictures and special videos I do from time to time on social media as well. All right, guys, I will see you back next time for a brand new Dollar Tree video. You can't beat it for $1.